Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for joining. Ah, finally. <laughs> it's only 7. 28? Yeah, 28 pm and oh my gosh, I'm nearly sitting on my hair. And it's still a bit wet. Because I washed it today. Yeah. Um, do game. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> You know what, shortly before I started the stream, I was like, why am I suddenly tired? And then I was like, okay, yesterday I wasn't doing too well. Unfortunately, didn't go to work again. Uh. <laughs> uh, but it's okay. It, it, to me, it was kind of a win, ultimately, because I didn't, like, that day somehow. <laughs> uh, of course, it's not great to not be doing too well, but I have to move my microphone. Okay. Um, but... I uh, could be, like, I noticed that I could be proud of myself because I wasn't giving myself too much of a hard time. I wasn't beating myself up for not doing well. I was, uh, I, I could kind of recover quite well, I guess. Um, yeah, and yesterday I had some, like, issues with my diaphragm again. I think I, I think I know why. I, I mean, I can point towards some asthma issues I had again lately that I like factors I couldn't control that made me cause yay asthma um, so I was like okay maybe my diaphragm wasn't happy about that so it wasn't doing too well yesterday so yeah but I'm not sure I think that's the reason because it would fit with my like past history but well I don't know for sure and someone's watering the flowers <laughs> um, the island's flowers oh gosh I might have to sneeze but I don't know. Um, yeah, where was I? So yeah, at the end. Like, today I'm not having diaphragm issues. I can hear on both ears. <laughs> yeah, kind of, might sound gross, but come on, it's just human. Um, I had a pimple in my ear, and I was like, okay, either this is going to get worse, or I will be lucky, uh, and it will go away without further issues. Luckily it wasn't like hurting too much, but yesterday I couldn't hear on one ear anymore because it was like so thick, I guess. Hmm. But it went away on its own. I'm happy to have learned that. Don't don't touch pimples, just leave them alone. Unless you have some, I don't know, some specific condition or it hurts too much and I understand when you uh, don't want to let your body take care of them yourself. <laughs> But yeah, it's just seriously, the body just takes care of it yourself. Uh, I, by now I'm noticing, I'm having issues, or oh, I had issues. I'm still sometimes having issues with skin picking, so I know how incredibly hard that can be to leave pimples at all. Um, but yeah, by now I've learned and I'm, I'm noticing that like, you know, I get up, I see a pimple, I'm like, oh, at the, at the end of the day, it looks normal again. You wouldn't know that there was a pimple when I got up. Of course, that's not always the case. Sometimes it takes like longer. But yeah, if I had poked around in my ear there, then it could have gotten worse and so on. And yeah, it might have hurt because I've, I would have poked around in there. And this way, it luckily, just went away yesterday. And I only had like one day of not hearing properly on one ear. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> so yesterday, nee, not great. But then like earlier when I was like, huh, why am I tired? I was like, oh, right, I didn't sleep enough. <laughs> I had like, I don't know, five hours of sleep. Now some might say, oh, that's enough, but no, everyone's different first off. And secondly, eight hours is the healthy amount of sleep, <laughs> like the generally healthy amount of sleep, so yeah. But I think it's okay, hopefully it will help me get to bed a bit earlier, hopefully. I Fingers crossed, I know I can be difficult in that direction. <laughs> Uh, you know, when I've when I've uh, overcome the tired phase, then I might just stay up even longer, which is not good, but yeah. <laughs> we will see. I hope I can sleep earlier today. Oh, well, we've only spoken for four minutes. That's surprising to me, kind of. <laughs> like, I feel like I've already spoken for half an hour again. <laughs> I know, so cool. I'm a bit tired, so please excuse tired brain. It might happen. It might happen. And um, yeah, just something general. This is the second to last Animal Crossing stream before Horizon Forbidden West. And then I will probably just not play Animal Crossing for a while. Or at least not stream it. I don't know. I feel like I will be pretty occupied with uh, Horizon Forbidden West. And I, by now I really 
Yeah, I do want to play Ghostwire Tokyo on release, so we will probably play that as well. And I still don't know about Forspoken. But yeah, first off we will be occupied with Horizon Forbidden West, then probably Ghostwire uh, Tokyo. Who knows when other games I'm looking forward to this year are coming out, but yeah. <clears throat> Oh my gosh, I learned uh, yesterday, I found out, or today, I don't know, last night. Um, I found out when the Obi-Wan show comes out, it comes out on uh, the... When, what was it? 45? Yeah, 45 years after the release of uh, A New Hope, so the first Star Wars movie, if I remember correctly. 24th of May is this uh, Star Wars, this <laughs> Star Wars, this, uh, 25th birthday, I think. No, 45th, not 25th. Sorry, because of the 25th of May, I got confused. So yeah, 45th birthday, and then the first episode of the Obi Wan show will come out. Obi Wan Kenobi. And I was like, oh my god! <laughs> and then I saw the cast, and then I saw what already got confirmed, and I'm just like, oh my god! I should finally properly watch Clone Wars. <laughs> So now I might go for that project, so yeah, I don't know, the project of watching Star Wars. I already calculated how, how many episodes I would have to watch per day. But the thing is, I can't watch stuff every day, so yeah. We will see how that goes. Because <laughs> as a kid I watched uh, some Clone Wars, I think my dad used to record it for me and my sister. I don't know, I can't remember. Then we would just randomly watch it sometimes, but for some reason I didn't. I never properly watched it. I feel like often when I thought about properly watching it, I just didn't know where, or it was like that was before the new class, or I didn't feel like it. And now I'm just like, yep, now I have a good reason. I want to finally catch up. I know several things, but I don't know everything. So yeah, I'm a Star Wars fan, but you know, just because you're a fan doesn't mean you have to know everything. Um. Yeah, alright, and speaking of shows, I watched through this enchantment, uh, the latest season, and Brooklyn Nine-Nine Season 7, no spoilers for Season 8, please. Netflix doesn't have it here yet. <laughs> um, and I'm hearing a gift. Hello, gift. You will pro probably fly over my flowers first, or I don't know. Um, but yeah, I will be done with my talking soon. I was speaking about Horizon Forbidden West earlier. I finally pre-ordered it, I just waited because... Um, in case I got sick or something and then I would have been like, great, now I've pre-ordered it but can't stream because whatever. Um, will I start the YouTube section here already? I don't know. Because I, I... chapter... oh, you, sh you showered, yep. You uh, watered my plants, I think. Our plants, they are then plants, whatever. Yeah, I guess I am starting the YouTube section here already. What is going on here? Is this all for sale? Yes. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> um, so yeah, because I always make chapters on YouTube. And yeah. I, I'm just always like intro and then starts the game. And yeah, I guess the game just started. Uh, I would try to talk in catalog this, you know. <laughs> what was it? Standing? Shop sign? Um, so yeah, I, I waited because in case I got sick, <laughs> that wasn't the proper sentence, but well. Um, gosh. Is that that sign? Is it silver? It's not black. Yep, it's silver, because there's only silver and black. Well, wow. thank you for not making a thousand versions. Um, okay. I hope I'm not. I, I hope I won't stumble over my words or my thoughts, trying to share everything I wanted to share. Um, also, happy weekend and thank you so much for watching. <laughs> um, oh, we've gone to Able Sisters already, right? And I and I finished. Ah, uh, now I remember what I did off screen. Yep, I finished shopping here. That was it, I think. I only finished shopping here, right? Did I have all the stuff in my Im inventory last stream as well? I guess so. Yeah, from the mail, right? Yeah, okay. I'll just walk around the beach while I talk, I guess. Oh, I will <coughs> talk to Logan. I have to drink something. Luckily, I got a bottle of orange juice. <laughs> I carried... Um, Two six packs of orange juice, <laughs> like six bottles in one pack, kind of. Um, I carry two of those. 
upstairs uh, yesterday. Yay. Was it yesterday? Yeah. When I was doing better. Because I was craving orange juice, so I was like, I'm gonna go to the basement and I'm gonna get those or that orange juice. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh yeah, and I was working on Thursday. And I was, I don't know, it felt weird that so many people were waiting at the tram station. It's been a while so, since I've been among so many people. And at some point I had to get so far away from the tram station. Um, because it was so uncomfortable how close people got. <laughs> and um, we have uh, FFP2 masks are mandatory here, which I'm grateful for. Um, but then also people started smoking. I was like, oh my gosh, no, because I have kind of a smoke allergy. So I had to get f even further away. And I was grateful that uh, soon after one started smoking. Hello, Ferriman! Woo! <laughs> Jumping in with the moon emote. They are so cute. <laughs> Hello, I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for joining. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I was trying to get away from the people smoking. And then I was grateful that the tram finally arrived. <laughs> and luckily the tram was empty enough, so it wasn't, it didn't get super cramped, which would have been even more uncomfortable. And I already had to wait, like... I, I work in the, in the inner city, so it's... Uh, I'm not used to... <laughs> and I live pretty close to the city, city center. Uh, inner city city center. I just woke up. Oh my gosh! Did you did you nap or? I mean, I've also woken up at very late times, but holy shit! <laughs> Happy weekend. <laughs> um, what did I want to say? So yeah, I work in the city center and I live pretty close to the city center, so I'm not used to waiting forever for for public transport. <laughs> so eleven minutes waiting eleven minutes was long for me. No, it's okay. I, I'm I'm pretty good at being patient, but um, yeah, it was still like a bit uncomfortable amongst all those people. Yeah, holy shit! It's basically my current sleep schedule. Oh, yeah, I can relate. <laughs> I'm I'm happy that I managed to sleep. I think the day before yesterday, I managed to sleep at 4 a.m. or around 4 a.m. The days before that, it was just like 7 a.m. was the earliest I could sleep. Uh huh. Yeah, and today I'm just tired because I woke up too early. Because my parents went shopping and no one else was home. So she, uh, my mom woke me up for uh, telling me that the doggo is now only with me at home. And yeah, that was good. I was happy about that and it might help me fix my sleep rhythm a bit. But yeah, I just... I, I was planning on sleeping, but then I just did stuff on social media and in my journals. And then I was like, yeah, oh, fuck it, I'm gonna stay up. <laughs> Only waiting can be so annoying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, oh, what I wanted to say, I, uh, after I said that I finally ordered, uh, pre-ordered, oh gosh, I was loud. I finally pre-ordered, um, Horizon Forbidden, Horizon Forbidden West today. Uh, Horizon, <laughs> the way I just jumped out. Oh, lucky, what do you want? What are you currently calling Youngin? Oh no, I don't want to upset him, but I, I prefer Cupcake. Oh, no, you're my closest pal. Okay. Lucky, yes, I still love you. I love you. <laughs> you're my favorite, don't you know? How I wish I could tell you. <laughs> it would be so nice if you could tell your villagers that they are your favorite or something. Um, but I guess you shouldn't hurt the other villagers. <laughs> no, so I finally pre-ordered Horizon Forbidden West today and I tried to explain earlier that I was just waiting because uh, in case I got, I would get sick, I would be like, shit, now I've pre-ordered it and I can't play it though because I got sick or whatever. But, <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, but luckily I think I will be alright for the next week at least. <laughs> Although I had diaphragm issues yesterday, but it's okay. It's not worse, so yeah, I'm optimistic. <laughs> um, and also I can't live my life by assuming that I will get sick every day, so yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I finally pre-ordered Horizon and I, and I pre-loaded it today because I found out that you could... Preloading started yesterday, like downloading it already. And I haven't used my PlayStation 5 in so long. 
Wait, it's been... I last used it in July, I think? When I got it? I'm not sure anymore. Yeah. Um, because I played Astro's Playroom and I played it on my birthday, but I'm not sure when I finished it exactly. I think it's at the end of July I finished it. So yeah, I haven't used my PlayStation 5 since. Because <laughs> I, I, I only got it so I could play Horizon Forbidden West and God of War Ragnarok on release, you know? <laughs> I mean, I also have other games, but that's why I was trying to get one before I wouldn't have the chance right before... Uh, those two games I just mentioned would really so I'm basically just prepared and that's why I haven't used it much yet. Um Yeah, cool. We walked around the island. Um Can I do stretching? Yes, I have stretching on my to-do list. That's a good thing I can talk meanwhile. Hello butch. Hello kicks. <laughs> Hello, Henry, that's your name. I just wanted to say frog, I was like, what? <laughs> Froggy chair. Oh, by the way, Pixelated Bard, thank you so very much for following. I think you came over from the real Wispy, a fellow being. I, I lurked on uh, Wispy's uh, stream in on Thursday while I was working. That was quite nice. It actually made work kind of go by fast and I could, I don't know, I just felt better, which made me able to work better, I think. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I did so much uh, office work. <laughs> um, and now I just have to get back used to... I, I just have to remind my brain this, that this is not a PlayStation controller. So A, like, confirm is on the right, not on the bottom. <laughs> okay, so I preloaded Horizon Forbidden West. And that's all I wanted. Oh no, and I also had to, had to update a bunch about my... PlayStation, there was also like a bigger update, bigger, bigger update um, for for the controller apparently, so I had to connect that, and I'm happy I took care of that, and didn't like push it to last minute or forgot about it, because if I had forgotten about it, then I was like, oh, uh, then I would have been like, okay, let's play Horizon, then I go, I have to download so much. <laughs> oh, and I should remember, I have to, after this stream... I have to put the, the, the LAN cable, the the internet cable. <laughs> I'm never sure how you say it, LAN in English. I don't know. So it will just say internet cable. <laughs> um, I have to remember to put that back to my second computer. Because I have two LAN internet cables in my room. And uh, they normally go to my computers. But when I have to download something on the PlayStation, I put the... I take the one from my second computer, but I will need that later when I upload something. Yeah, when I upload the recording of this stream again. <laughs> VLAN cable, yes. <laughs> if I say VLAN cable or WLAN or Wi Fi cable, then it ob obviously doesn't make sense. <laughs> but a cable remote, I have to check it out in a second. Oh, now I have a hand free. Okay. Oh, that's wood. See, that's why I want different emotes, because it's so hard to recognize. I, I I confuse. Without my glasses on, and on my second screen, and with a black background, I confuse my own emote for a cable. My my own doggo head. <laughs> yeah. I, wow. <laughs> LAN cable works. WLAN or y VLAN or Wi-Fi cable doesn't work. Ferryman, I have a tired brain today, excuse me. <laughs> I slept like five hours or nearly five hours, I don't know. So yeah, it's it's okay. I, I won't even further think about it, how stupid that shit was. <laughs> okay, so when is the release? On the 18th of February. Ethernet cable. Ah, Ethernet cable should be a better term, I think. Okay, th thank you. <laughs> LAN. <laughs> uh... <laughs> okay. Hello, Henry. Why did I start talking to you? <gasps> Where's sleeping? Okay, cool. I just read sleeping. My brain just reads what it wants to read. I just wanted to say what it wants to sleep instead of what it wants to read. So yeah, 18th of February, which means I will stream Animal Crossing tomorrow, the last Animal Crossing stream. Sad life, I know. Um, the last Animal Crossing stream in a, for a while, I think. Pretty sure. And then I won't stream on Tuesday because I will work on Tuesday so I can stream on Friday. So I will switch Friday and Tuesday because on Friday, the 18th of February, 
Horizon Forbidden West releases. And I'm... No, I was thinking about streaming at midnight for a bit, but no... I think it's... It's more worth it to just sleep and get up hopefully earlier somehow. <laughs> and then stream earlier so I can just stream super long in the first session. Or I just stick to my normal times, you know, because, yeah. Streaming three days in a row, that's, that's, yeah. <laughs> I could get tired after that. <laughs> or like after a while. Okay. Yeah, don't stress yourself, Kana. Chill. You're tired today, it's okay. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so I can stream on release. I'm switching Tuesday and Friday to make it simple. Yep. And it's also in the schedule tab uh, of my Twitch channel. Yep. <laughs> and because uh, I, I tried to I tried to fill that out for a long time to come. <laughs> so you can check it there when I stream for for the next months, I guess. Yeah. Unless something unexpected happens, then I obviously will tell you and can't tell you earlier, because unexpected, you know. Um, okay, cakes. Shit, my pockets are pretty full. Hmm. I, I'm pretty sure I don't have these yet. Um, Alright, anything else I wanted to say? I just wanted to say restroom, just because restroom slippers. <laughs> Uh, my brain. <gasps> the galaxy backpack, look at it. Oh my gosh, it looks so beautiful. <clears throat> beautiful. Oosh. Um, there we go. Is that. Yes, that's one of the colors I'm missing. Cool. <laughs> but yeah, Ferriman, I hope your sleep rhythm gets better because, yeah, it's relatable and it stinks. <laughs> Shitty sleep rhythm stinks. I just, I, it's just not nice to, like, for me that I can, can only manage to fall asleep at around like 7 a.m. <laughs> Between 4 and 7 a.m., basically. <laughs> That's so, uh, so annoying. <laughs> <gasps> it was quite nice to see more of the sun today. It's It's been a while since I've last seen like 10, 11 a.m. I'm not sure when I woke up. I think 11 a.m. Mm, 10 something, 11 a.m. I don't know. But it was nice. I was like, oh, earlier sun. Woo. Can I find the backpack on my own? Space. Nope, I don't know. What's it called? Spacey backpack. Okay, nearly close enough. I typed in space but couldn't find it. Simple near high socks. I will have to check in a sec. Spacey backpack. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh. <laughs> I love space patterns. I'd will get better eventually. <laughs> yeah, that's the same stance I've been holding for a while now and, and it might finally happen today or I might move towards it today. I don't know. I'm buying... I'm buying kicks, take my bells. <laughs> simple. And I had quite weird dreams, but I can't remember them too well anymore. Oh, cool, those are the only simple knee high socks that were left that I needed. Cool. In the future, I won't have to get them anymore. <laughs> oh, cool. When I started watching Murderville, I think it's called today. I feel like I was hoping for it to be more funny, but it was just one episode. I like the concept because because I'm also you know I'm an actor, so yeah. Uh, it's basically it's basically a detective show. Or I don't know what it's called exactly, like a crime show, but not really too serious because it's also improvisation. 
And there's like a celebrity guest, a different one, every uh, every episode. Yeah, I don't know. Just if you have Netflix, check it out, or just check out the trailer. It's better understandable if you've seen. It can be better understood if you've just seen the trailer. So yeah, I feel like it was alright, but it didn't make me laugh as much as I hoped. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it was because I just, I finished uh, the seventh season of Brooklyn Nine Nine uh, last night. So yeah, and I I like Brooklyn Nine Nine, and it made me laugh a lot. So yeah, maybe my you know the, the drop. <laughs> now it's a different kind of show, but yeah, uh, maybe it's just not too much my humor. I don't know, but I like the concept, and I, it's it's cool to notice that the actors don't have a script and like thinking about what I would do and what I've learned from improvisation in acting class and so on. It's pretty cool to see that, but besides that, it's like, nah, I don't have to see this. <laughs> hey, I'm an expert on having weird dreams. Woo, nice high five. <laughs> <gasps> okay, I have this tote bag already. Sequin leggings. I'm pretty sure I have these. But I was a check as always. Oh. <laughs> so often. Not always. Okay, I... Oh, wait. Are these red or pink? Oh god. I think they're the red ones, because the pink ones are more blueish. Which is weird. Okay. I am so confused. I, I'm looking at both of my screens and I'm not sure which one it is. Is it red or pink? It's probably clearly red, but I don't know, I'm just confused. Yeah, let's just assume it's red and I, then I should check my in-game catalog. I will just do that right away. Before I forget about it. Sequin leggings. Although it could be pink. Oh. Now I've bought it. I like how the window moves so much to the right that you can hear the waterfall. <laughs> but here I can't hear it. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I really I can I can only like sometimes remember glimpses of the dream. That's that's the wrong that wait I went too far back. I can sometimes remember glimpses of the dream. And also kind of the vibe. <gasps> it's the red ones, oh my god. What did I do? What did I say? Oh no. See these this that looks so pink. Rosa, but like this kind of looks more in the purple direction. But you know, I, I think of something different when I think of red. I think it kind of fits, but I would more likely label this as pink. I mean, I also get why this is pink, but it looks so purple to me. On the other hand, it looks more pink on my other screen. Also, the yellow looks kind of warmer. Maybe my main screen has two cold colors. I don't know. This, but but this looks. Nah. It looks a bit more orange, orangey, like orange tinted pink on my on my on my second screen and on my main screen. It pretty much looks pink. It's so weird. I don't know what it looks like on your hand end, but yeah, at least I got it right. <laughs> Like, I got it right that it's not the pink ones. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and I feel like I've forgotten something. But don't I always feel like that? <laughs> Is that yes? Okay. Oh no! <laughs> And yeah, I might yawn more today because I'm also tired. <laughs> I just heard a song that triggered a memory when I was walking past the TV which was on in the living room. Because family. Um, no, I can't remember the song. Well, I'm not sure whether it was the one I just saying hummed, whatever. 
パパンパパパンパパパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパ Such good meme material. Well, songs from Russian singers. Well, yeah, not just singers. But yeah, I guess they are singers, yeah. Um, creators? I don't know. Musicians, musicians. That makes more sense. Did I just buy that? No, right? Mm. I just got it off it. Okay. I had brain! Woo! And I really hope we get more pictures today because that could make this more exciting and I could get more excited and then I might wake up. <laughs> okay. Uh, extra large. Backpack. Da -da. Traveler's backpack. I know I have that in blue already. Yes. Oh. No, this is the brown version. It looks slightly olive on my screen. Hmm. <laughs> and we just jam in there. And we're done with cakes for today. Already 45 minutes of streaming behind us. <laughs> when does festival begin? On the 15th? I think so. Okay. Oh, sorry, butterfly. <laughs> it is, I don't know. I just walked there without thinking. Um, oh no. I will put that into my inventory. Okay, um, I guess I should just first go to Katrina. Brewster is also an option. Um, I still don't really care about Nock Miles anymore <laughs> for now because I. I've got enough miles for the next 158 days, <laughs> pretty much. Um, so I could just go to Brewster now. Oh, I don't. Running around in circles won't help. Let's just go to Katrina first, because I feel like it. And we're closer to the airport. <laughs> Alright. Oh, tired yard. Oh my gosh, I have to check out something. No, it doesn't work, okay. No, you're not in this... No. <laughs> um. Nope, it doesn't work. Okay, because I watched the video. And I know that... Wilbur is standing behind this wall, right? I think about here. So I was trying to see if I could see him, but no, I can't get an angle where I can see him. But yeah, he's just standing behind the wall there. He's jamming to the music like like him. Like he has his idle animation, but he doesn't do anything. And I have no idea why he suddenly comes from the left then, if he stands on the right. I, I don't know. Animal Crossing. <laughs> I'm not a deaf. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Let me fly. Um, yes. oh. Good body, I'm tired. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm not super tired. It's just my body and my eyes being like... Oh. <laughs> my brain is pretty awake, honestly. <laughs> Although maybe I shouldn't say this. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Oh, I think what I wanted to say earlier is Ferryman, Ferryman, yes, Ferryman, no, 
Theremin, if you want to share any of your dreams, given that you are an expert on having wet dreams, feel free. But you don't have to. <laughs> Obviously, because weird dreams can be shitty and uh, one might not want to remember them. <laughs> if you want to share, share away. Uh, I'm not buying this week, right? Is it? It's Tuesday. And I'm not buying this week, okay. I have to wait a whole week. No, it's okay. Um, just Katrina, right? Yes. Just. <laughs> how, how could you say just in front of Katrina? <laughs> Before saying Katrina, you know. <laughs> Close your eyes. Give me your hand. I didn't want to get to that when I said close your eyes. <laughs> But I just landed there. I don't even know what the song is called. Better not, I mostly dream of real life stuff. A scenarios that my brain thinks could have happened, but all nightmarish. <laughs> okay, yeah, I can relate to that. Sometimes I dream super wacky creative stuff. But sometimes I also have such dreams, so yeah, I get if no, n not shareable. N n should, no, <laughs> no, please don't. No, <laughs> I mean that's like what I would tell myself. Like, no, don't remember that stuff. <laughs> yeah, uh, but my my dream was so weird. But sometimes I remember what what happened a bit, but I can't express it. I don't know. Uh my hands a bit cold, which is nice on my eyes. Hello, Edward! Oh, How cute! Oh, <laughs> The Nurk somehow goes well with the tofu. <laughs> oh, cute! Thank you so much for joining! I hope you're having a good weekend. How are you? I'm just looking at the emotes next together. It's so cute! <laughs> and, and weirdly, Zadi's tongue color fits your chat name color. <laughs> okay, okay. Sunny dreaming of tofu? Haha, <laughs> accurate. That that fits. She she freaking loves it when I when I cut up tofu and give her a piece. <laughs> She's like, oh my gosh, give. Oh wait, cut up tofu. That sounds weird, given that your cat is called tofu. But you know what I mean. <laughs> and well, got myself a busy weekend with overtime. We'll be lurking. Oh, all the best. <laughs> Thank you so much for lurking. But yeah, Sally loves uh, the edible tofu. <laughs> no. It's so cute. <laughs> uh, friendship improvement? <gasps> no. No friendship uh, diminishing. Diminishing. <laughs> diminishing. Okay. Is that a word? Friendship dimi will diminish. Fortune. B bad fortune. I can't speak today. I'm tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, I shouldn't say I'm sorry all the time. Okay, but they're fighting now. It's an argument about whether bugs are friends or bait. Da da da! Break up in coming. From <laughs> no. this vision, I deduce that your luck with friendship will diminish. No, no, Flick and CJ. No. <laughs> oh, my neighbors are being loud. <laughs> but I'm just. I think it's never been or. Like, I think you could never hear it on stream, which I'm pretty happy about. So that's that's okay. And most of the time I can't hear it either with my headphones on, so yeah. Life has its up and ups and downs, its hills and valleys. Well, something unfortunate might happen today. But... <laughs> yeah, we don't hear that. Woo! If you want to escape disaster for certain, I could possibly purify you. Yes, we will get a purification gift. <laughs> Oh gosh, 30,000. What if I hadn't brought enough? <laughs> hey, Raydon. I'm good, just a bit tired. How are you? I hope you're having a good weekend and thank you so much for joining. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to Horizon Forbidden West. Because I, I preloaded it today. I think I'm... I don't know. I'm getting more and more excited for it. <laughs> Also, I'm pretty sure we can we can fly on machines in 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 Horizon Forbidden West. It looked like it in the cinematic trailer. Like they didn't show Aloy flying on a machine, but I feel like the cinematic trailer hinted at it. The cinematic trailer from yesterday. 
I'm just I'm hyped <laughs> a bit. <laughs> oh, also, also, I just look forward to going back to that story. It and also that that world is it's so beautiful. All the designs. Oh. <laughs> I look forward to, to cosplays. <laughs> I know that maybe you want to prove this, but this week with students occupied my school. Okay. I mean, depends on the context. And. Uh, how you did it? <laughs> and why? So, yeah. But, but okay. If you shared, then maybe explain, please. <laughs> Um, yay, we got purified. Friendship! Uh, should I go with Foxy again? We don't have to go with Kit, with Kit anymore. Kit has given us a photo. We are, we are internally grateful. <laughs> Or at least I'm saying that we are grateful, because you should be grateful too. <laughs> no, I'm grateful, so yeah. I hope you're happy about the photo as well. Because <laughs> it, it brought progress into the stream. <laughs> I mean, it's not like, by the way, just random thing. It's not like I'm generally against some form of protest, you know, because I also went to demonstrations against uh, Article 13, for example, which is now Article 17. But yeah, I went to... Did I go to one demonstration or multiple ones? I don't know. But especially with the pandemic, it's... I feel like some things... I mean, it's still important to stand up for rights and so on. But you have... You, you, you know... I would be happy about people doing stuff safely. Or, uh, I feel like people should. No, how do I say that? Yeah, no, I feel like it's, you know, people should stick to rules about the pandemic. Because otherwise they just cause trouble in different directions, which would also be unfair. So I think that would kind of also weaken their position if they want to protest against something unfair, you know? <laughs> Oops, yeah. So yeah, it's not like I'm... I don't know what impression you have of me, <laughs> given that you said I know that maybe you won't approve, for, uh, approve this, so yeah. Uh, I don't know where that... like, what impression that was motivated by that sentence. It's hard to explain. Um, but yeah, I think it's good to stand up for for good stuff, you know against unfair stuff and just unjust stuff fighting against identification of the students with, student with the number in industry model school more investment about the school psychological support class of both 30 people both because many people disapprove that okay if i if i understand correctly then i find that good <laughs> Although I'm not sure if I understand correctly. So you are fighting against students being identified with a number? So like, basically stuff could, stuff should get more like they care about people. But you know you also put psychological support there. So are you fighting against psychological support or for psychological support among those other things you fight against? Yeah, exactly. Okay, I hope you understood it correctly. Uh, so yeah, that sounds good to me, because... Uh, for psychological support. Okay, good. Thank you for clarifying. That, that's, that sounds good to me, you know? <laughs> and if, if people, like, don't listen and you've tried to do more... Um... Like, you know, you can confront people with an issue, or you can try to talk about the issue more. Okay, confrontation might also lead to call to talking, but there's a difference between just approaching someone or demonstrating, you know. Um, so if you've already tried approaching people 
and have tried other methods then it just makes sense to me to to do like demonstrations and so on or like the occupation you said i i hope things get better for you <laughs> um because yeah i understand how important those uh we sent four letters about these problems to the principal he never read those wow <laughs> great um i mean such is issues can have many sources I mean, there can be even more issues connected to that, but even if something's difficult, it would be nice if people would explain to you if something were too difficult or connected with other issues. <laughs> we tried talking to, to him, but he didn't want to go away. Yeah, that's shitty. Conversation is important. And then you have to make people listen in other ways, you know? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, as long as it doesn't go super violent or anything, or super destructive, uh, then it's all okay, I think. Um, yeah, so I know how important those things can be, because I was, although it wasn't perfect, but I was fortunate enough that at the school I went to, um, we had like, basically psychologists and like, like every class to a certain uh, grade had um, a class teacher, kind of, and a, how do you say that, social teacher, I don't know, just someone to, like, someone you could approach who was taught, like, social and kind of psychological skills, um, someone you could approach besides your class teacher, yeah, so that was nice. And I was very lucky to have that, because, yeah, not every school has that. <laughs> um, and it's also, like, it's easier to not talk to the, your teacher, because then it's, like, yeah, it's, you don't connect the class and grades stuff with that person. Yeah. Um, oh, but the man uh, who controls all the instruction and the things in Italy said at the rate you'll be alright. That, that's good, I hope he's not just saying that for show. <laughs> or for uh, gaining popularity or something. So yeah, I really hope things get better. Because uh, that's the kind of stuff that has helped other countries in the past as well, as far as I know. <laughs> Friendship blessing! <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, you know, education is so important and it's it's so shitty when that gets hindered by um, bad circumstances like the things you mentioned you are fighting against. That's that's not nice. It hinders like personal development and also kind of the development of the uh, school environment and then also work environment and so on because you know people take what they've learned at schools with them mostly to their work environment and that's that's not cool if that's so negative <laughs> <laughs> okay bye bye katrina so we are lu not lucky today, we are just uh, purified, we have escaped chaos. <laughs> In-game, <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um. Okay. I just uh, didn't press A immediately because I removed that task from the list. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I, uh, wait on, I hope you got some good rest after that. And I hope that it wasn't like a, a pandemic spreader event. <laughs> uh, I hope you, you stayed safe and that nothing escalated, you know. <laughs> okay, what am I doing now? I could talk to my villagers. I could sell stuff. But it's good to have full pockets while talking to my villagers. I could go to Brewster. Mm. I have an idea. 
And I think I will pick up these, and then assess them, then go to Brewster, and also pick up this. <laughs> um, and then I'll run around to find my villagers, give them stuff, and then sell uh, what's in my pockets. Like, empty my pockets, you know. <laughs> Oh, I have to yawn. Oh, why am I holding the hand I could use for gaming in front of my face when no one's seeing me? I can just yawn without having my hand in front of my face. Oh. Fossils. Oh, I love this music here so much. It triggers childhood memories for me. Although I, I think I've now learned that Wild World is a Animal Crossing Wild World is apparently one of the worst Animal Crossing games. Apparently, I don't know. Maybe it's just a personal take. Or maybe it's a qualified opinion uh, from the channel where I got it from. Because I I only know, uh, I've only ever played Wild World and Wild. No, I've also played, what's it called? City Folk? In German it's called Let's Go to the City, I think. I think in English it's called City Folk. Dang, I totally forgot about having played that. Oh my gosh, my brain. Why can I... I feel like I can partially remember Wild World better than City Folk. Oh my gosh. <laughs> why, why does my brain work like this? I can't remember what it's like to run around in, in the Wii game. In the Animal Crossing Wii game. I can remember the city there, but also not too well. I can remember the DS game better, although it still has better graphics in my brain. I just, my brain can't remember it was the truly much worse graphics. Like the, like, a co the fitting its age and when it got released. Graphics, which are not as good as they are in my brain, but I can't change that memory somehow. Well, that false memory. <laughs> oh, my brain. But yeah, given that we are currently experiencing the 2nd of February in Animal Crossing, I am certain that we will not experience a uh, Valentine's Day in-game on stream. I might play it on my own, I don't know, but uh, because the butt was unnecessary. Um, because, yeah, I have only this stream and tomorrow, so tomorrow's stream left for Animal Crossing. Then it's Horizon Forbidden West time. And I don't think we can get to get through the next 12 days <laughs> in that time. And I also don't have to. No stress. This is a cozy stream. <laughs> hot. Hot, hot coffee. I still don't drink coffee. <laughs> and I've... Hopefully and probably never will. I'm saying hopefully because I don't like coffee, so yeah. I wouldn't like it if I felt forced to drink it somehow. <gasps> Have we reached 50 days? Is it 50 days? Is it 50 or less? Oh my gosh. That could also mean that we might finally soon be done with stretching. No. We haven't reached 50 yet. Um, is it 30? Oh my gosh. I didn't expect this. Think of it as my way of saying things. What's special happening in AC on Valentine? Um, I think there are special items. I think you might get gifts and you can also gift your villagers certain things, but I'm not sure exactly. I just know, and that's why I thought about it just now. You get hot chocolate on that day from Brewster. Instead of coffee, you get hot chocolate. Yay! <laughs> Delicious. Um, ah, pro coffee grinder, so we're not at 50 yet. What stage is the pro coffee grinder? 
one. Thank you so much. Oh, I can still relate to that. That's so cute. <laughs> Thank you so much for the little head bow. <laughs> that could make a good gift. <laughs> Just tuned in and then... Thank you so much <laughs> for following. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> oh, great. My pockets are full. How perfect. I have to catalog this. Oh, wow. This is truly perfect because I, I like full pockets. <laughs> I need full pockets. <laughs> dun, dun. Show coffee. I think the app tells me here. Yep, on 40 different days. 10 more times going to Brewster and we will be done and we won't have to go to Brewster every day anymore. It can be worth it to just do it still because it's nice and also you might meet special characters. But still, then we won't have to go anymore. Nice, nice. Hallelujah. <laughs> no, that was very random. <laughs> uh, I can switch this and that. Okay. Okay. Before I randomly run to pick up shells, I will do do my tasks. <laughs> Fulfill my tasks. No, Henry went inside, so we can't talk to him until he invites himself. But maybe later. I'm just pretty focused on the gifts right now, honestly. <laughs> getting the gifts from them. And um, getting my other dailies done, obviously. But yeah, gifts. <laughs> and getting the photos from them. Did I say getting the gifts from them? Hmm. Take it. Snoot it. Hey, why do we have a trash can in your house? Did you get that from me? Did I sell him a trash can? I know I bought a blue trash can, right? No. Okay, it just looks weird in there. I don't know if you got it from me. Okay, we won't have to talk to Kit anymore. I mean, we can still talk to her, but like, we don't have to. Although one of them might have a recipe. And I think uh, on Valentine's Day you also, I guess you get a, get a gift in the mail from your mom, but I'm not sure. And I think you get something from Isabel, but I'm also not sure about that. Why do I suddenly want to play a shooter? <laughs> it's like I want to play something with action. Why? I had brain, what ideas do you have? <laughs> I guess it's also because I'm looking forward to Horizon. The bow shooting and firing. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hope I can manage. I'm Honestly, I'm not bad at video games in general. <laughs> I think I'm pretty good at fighting. I mean, I beat the Valkyrie Queen. I, I beat all the Valkyries in God of War, so I can't be too bad. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, like I sometimes uh, think of myself as uh, how do I say that? I underestimate myself. Yes, that's what I wanted to say. Sometimes I underestimate myself, so I might talk myself down <laughs> even when I don't intend to, because it's just uh, kind of normal for me, which is sad. But yeah. Um. Oh wait. Yep, it works. Cool. But yeah, I'm, I'm, my self-confidence uh, has very much improved. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I hope I won't be... Uh, I hope streaming won't make me be, I don't know, shy or be like, Oh, I can't do this. Although I think I did okay in The Last of Us. Some, uh, in The Last of Us and The Last of Us Part 2. Sometimes I was just tired and did stupid things, or just human things, like accidentally messing up stuff, but yeah. I think I will do pretty okay. Or well, even, maybe. <laughs> In Horizon, I mean. Yes, thank you for standing up. And then let me talk to you forever. <laughs> Oh, so cute with the glasses. <laughs> but I don't know if 
people would expect that. I actually used to play shooters as a kid. <laughs> I mean... Oh, wait. What? A fish? Okay, you want a fish. Um, like when I was nine years old or so, I would play Call of Duty. <laughs> I, I still don't like games like... I, I don't like multiplayer shooters, um, although Call of Duty was also multiplayer, but that was with my siblings, so it was okay. But I don't like to play multiplayer shooters just randomly with strangers online, that's not really my thing. I wouldn't say it's boring to me, but I just prefer other things, so yeah. And I also just prefer shooters with like story stuff. <laughs> I prefer shooting for story reasons. <laughs> no, and not... No, I guess I'm not really a competitive person, I guess. Maybe not in every regard, but yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure whether people would expect that for me to be like, oh yeah, you used to play GTA 5 and uh, Call of Duty. And, yeah. <laughs> Why did I say that? I don't know. I guess because of fighting in Animal, uh, in Animal Crossing. <laughs> fighting in Animal Crossing. No, I guess because of fighting in Horizon Forbidden West, so... Okay, you want a fish. From a river, okay. She specifically wants from one from a river. Okay. Lucky baby. Oh, they still, their color schemes fit well together. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, are you following the, okay, you're following the damselfly. He was just suddenly running away. Um, <laughs> for a second I was like, wait, did I just say he was suddenly flying away? But no, he was saying, he, I, I was saying he was suddenly running away. Gosh, my brain. Do I have fish bait? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I don't. And I only have one river. No, I have kind of two. I hope that counts as a river. This doesn't, right? No, it's not. Okay. But on the east side of my island, that might count as a river. So much white. I'm looking forward to green here again. Ah. <laughs> okay, river, river, river. Do I just run around until a fish has spawned? Um. um just to be safe, I will do this and check for other characters, but I have to remove. Wait, did I gift Aurora or something? Yes. So I had 10 and 1, right? No. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I gifted Aurora or something, but yeah. I, I will see later. Yes, I did gift something. Yeah. Great. Oh, there's a digging spot. Um, but I will leave it for now, because I need the inventory space. Oh, Procyon, hello. Uh, Procyon, thank you for joining. I have to say, you're really good at improv stream talking. Oh, thank you so much. Foxy I see as well. <laughs> That's just my random brain, especially when, when you know, because I'm a bit tired today. <laughs> but only a bit. I think it's already gotten much better. Now I might be a bit in a hyper phase. So yeah, my random brain, especially when I'm a bit tired, just builds out a bunch of random stuff. So yeah, I can talk a lot. Especially when... I guess I miss streaming. And then I feel more talkative. I have times where I don't know what to say and where I struggle with talking because of like anxiety stuff or because I'm not doing well. But when I really feel like streaming, I guess I can just talk a lot. <laughs> See, I can't even remember what I was talking about earlier. Oh yeah, fighting and uh, shoot again. Okay. <laughs> fighting in Animal Crossing. <laughs> that was so random. Um, yeah. But yeah, I guess that's one of the reasons why I like uh, acting and streaming. I can just talk. And uh, ran weirdly, it uh, helps some people even. Hi, Moonberry! Hi! <laughs> Thank you so much for joining. Wait, I was thinking about something. But no, I, I confused that. I, I thought you had something you were doing today, but no, that was... Uh, uh, Booga has uh, a watch party right now. How are you, friend? Uh, thank you for asking. And I'm a bit tired today, as I just said, uh, as I said just now. I don't know if you heard already, um, but I'm pretty good besides that. So yeah, I'm definitely doing better than yesterday. My my diaphragm is doing well today, so I'm not having diaphragm issues today. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, he's watching Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, so cool. 
I'm looking forward to the uh, next Spider-Verse movie, movie this year. Oh, so cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good weekend and... Uh, yeah, some tea maybe. Because <laughs> tea is great. <laughs> Oh, I have to remove Vic from the list of villagers I have to gift. Whee. Okay, because otherwise I will have to. Uh, I will have to. Yep. Otherwise I will forget that I've given him a gift. <laughs> my my brain is too random today. I'm about to make some tea. Woo! How did you know? The ways of the force are mysterious. No, <laughs> it's just uh, the, the the beans instinct. Spider-Verse movie. Spider-Verse movie was great, yes. And it's... Oh, I'm so excited for what, like, all the stuff and all the styles they will get into the next part. It's, oh, it's cool. Haha! <laughs> Beans! <laughs> Can I give you a gift when you're here? Yes. <laughs> I have a feeling you do like or would like Blue Bear in, the ga in Animal Crossing. <laughs> Because it just fits perfectly. Moon and blue bear. Moonberry and blue bear. Berry. <laughs> Blueberry? <laughs> no, I just want to say blueberry. <laughs> I'll be back, gonna get tea. Yay! I'm on my phone right now. <laughs> okay. E enjoy your tea. <laughs> and thank you so much. <laughs> I'm just thinking I want to give you something, but I can't. Your pockets are full. <laughs> I love Animal Crossing, yay! <laughs> okay, so I've given them both a gift. I think I've given all of them a gift. It's unfortunate that both Foxia and Vic are inside right now. Oh, is he wearing... Is he wearing a black hoodie? What is that? Oh yeah, I can turn the camera around here. Okay, the hood just looks a bit weird on him. But yeah, it's a black hoodie. Oh, okay, now I see it. Yay! This looks funky. <laughs> like we're standing in line. <laughs> okay. Can I can I get a thumbnail picture out of this somehow? I'm not sure. This is this would be like one of the weirdest thumbnails ever. For my Animal Crossing or for my thumbnails. For my Animal Crossing section. Uh, section. Let's play streams, whatever. This this could be more like it. Oh gosh, yeah, I'm I'm really talking randomly today. No, you left a queue. Foxy, yeah, why? Okay. Mm. Maybe I can do something else. Okay, please, please let this be a good shot. Let this have been a good shot. Oh. This this could actually make it with something. Um. <laughs> Just staring at the table. <laughs> but yeah, I don't like it when the void is visible here. Da, da, da. <laughs> Oh, this looks quite cute, like they're posing. At least she's kind of posing and now she's walking against him. Yay. <laughs> You're locked here now, Foxy. <laughs> but yeah, we'll quake a quake, yep. Take a quick reminder picture here. Why? Oh, they look kind of cute there. <laughs> but it also looks weird. But it's cute. Yay. Okay. I took a reminder picture of OBS, so I have to timestamp, so I won't have to search in the recording forever for the thumbnail. This looks so cute. Why do they look so cute together? <laughs> I guess the pink in his ears kind of fits her pink, and her blonde hair kind of fits his beige. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I've said that before, that her yellow hair kind of makes a nice transition to the... Beige. <laughs> I don't 
makes for a nice transition. Gosh, my brain. <laughs> But yeah, you know, I was talking about the next Netflix show Murderville earlier. And it's kind of an improv show. Because uh, it's a show and people... It's kind of like a crime show where celebrity guests have to find out who the murder was. And they, the celebrities don't have a script, obviously, otherwise they would know. <laughs> so it's just like improv theater, basically. And yeah. Watching that today made me think of acting class, and because I did a lot of impro, Im, Im, yeah, impro improvisation, yes. <laughs> um, I guess that's also where being able to talk a lot comes from, because you have to think of the most random things. <laughs> you just you just constantly have to spill out ideas, like in that process, it's just stuff just keeps happening, and you have to answer somehow, <laughs> and like offer something for the other one to work with, basically. Wow, nice, yes. <laughs> I hope... I don't know. I kind of hope, because uh, I've only watched one episode so far, and it was okay to me, it wasn't super special. But yeah, to me at least. Um, so I hope the others will be more interesting or like funny to me. I don't know. Hmm. Or maybe I, I just have to warm up to it, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny because you can watch the show and kind of try to solve it along the celebrity guest star. Because <laughs> they, you, you basically get the same clues. <laughs> oh, what? No, don't go. Oh my gosh, he wants to go and didn't pay attention. <laughs> Good thing I would have said no, don't go. So, anyways, if I had just pressed A. But no, Lobo, you will stay here forever. Come on, Swoggled, what? Yes! How to stay the course while you're twisting my arm. Oh, how to stay the course while you're twisting my arm. Fine, I cancel my plan to move. I don't know what was even going on, but you're staying here. Baby. I reckon I can stick around a might longer. Why mess with this good thing we got going? <laughs> no, but you're my second favorite on this island. Don't go. I love you. <laughs> I found you so accidentally and I had never seen you before and then I was like, oh my god, I love him, he's got to come to my island and then he did and I was happy. <laughs> A lobo love story. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm really talking random stuff today. But honestly, it also helps just to learn that it's okay to just talk random stuff. It helps against anxiety stuff. That's why I love streaming as well. Because you can just talk a bunch of shit. <laughs> Random stuff is good. Exactly. And then I see that people like it. Or just like, hey, you know what? Sometimes I talk random stuff as well. Then my anxiety is like, okay, I can chill more. <laughs> step by step, I can learn that. <laughs> okay, my pockets are too full. So I would love that fossil. And then I would get that, get that gift. Oh, and I can wait. I need a river fish. Oh god, I need a river fish for Aurora. I nearly forgot about that. I should write that down. <clears throat> Ooh, does that count as a river fish? Digital fishing. <laughs> oh dang. Oh, good thing you turned around. <laughs> I will have to drink something inside. I don't think I've had any water in like an hour. <laughs> and it's warm on you. Oh, my hair is even... Is my hair dry? Nearly. It's still a tiny bit wet. But yeah, it's uh, nice and comfy in here so my hair is even drying properly. Cool, now I have another free spot here. Hello there, hi P2. Any photos since I last uh, turned in? Uh, uh, tuned in. Oops. Is you you've seen kids' photo, right? So no, unfortunately not. But I'm on it. <laughs> Aurora wants a fish from us, a river fish, and I hope this one works. And that means we can fulfill the task, which means friendship boost. Woo! I think. What big squishy clouds! <laughs> Imagine a doggo, like Lucky, um, curling up in a big squishy cloud. I think so. <laughs> 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 
clouds are actually made of lots and lots of little uh, water drops. <laughs> the water bottle. <laughs> no, snow skin. No. Oh my gosh, that's such a good word. Such a good expression, I think. <laughs> oh, you're gonna ruin my dreams. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. No. Okay, Aurora. Got something. Your heart's pounding, well, okay. I mean, she is a penguin. <laughs> Yay! My yellow bird. Oh, you're filling our inventory spot, okay. Kung Fu tea. Got Kung Fu. <laughs> Kung Fu. I, I can't. I, I, I feel like I'm forgetting more, more Chinese every day. Okay, we've already gifted her something. So no to do's today. Not gifts anymore. <laughs> Is... Oh, I thought you might be like, oh, I want to talk more to you too. Let me come to your place. Okay. I want to quickly pick up that present and then I will get back to her and talk to her. For the gifts. <laughs> or oh, for the gift. Uh. What's up? <laughs> so many nice emotes. And I'm just so happy that people talk to each other here in the chat. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, unfinished puzzle. Okay. I will have to catalog that later. Everything okay if I get your picture? Photo? <laughs> oh, I'm doing something worth smashing A here. <laughs> I would say this. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to dust my books and then I might just like you. Okay. <laughs> Did she just say that she returned a goldfish to the sea? Or pond or whatever? It's a bunch of pretty cool more seas. <laughs> Say, I'm happy, I guess you returned the fish to the, to the uh, lake, that's the uh, word. Uh, what kind of book would you want to have with you on a deserted island? Yep. <laughs> Excellent and appropriate choice. There are so many mystery books set on, a, on deserted islands at all. How exhilarating would it be to read a mystery about a deserted island on a deserted island? <laughs> and by exhilarating, I mean terrifying. <laughs> I like the way you think, okay. <laughs> so many emotions there. So first she wants to clean and she wants to do her laundry. Oh, okay. Yep, I guess she's busy with uh, her stuff. <laughs> we will talk again later, Aurora. <laughs> Pretty sure I have this one already. Unfinished puzzle. Okay, I have it. Ooh. So I can sell it. Okay. Time to go to Nook's Cranny, I guess. Time to drop these. I'm pretty sure I have this one. <laughs> but I just realized I had forgotten about it. I have it, okay. It's exactly the one I had in mind. Okay, so we get another another fishing boat. How practical that I still have uh, had to. <clears throat> Dang, look at how many giant clams I have. 55, nice number. Um, thanks, I've been a lucky re recipient of so many gifted subs. Yeah, same here. I'm, I'm so grateful for 
um, such generous uh, communities. Um, okay, so I must confess I'm doing some extreme procrastination here. I have two. I have to go to the bathroom, relatable, and then groceries. But just sitting on my bed on Twitch. So if anyone wants to yell at me to get off Twitch, that's totally fine. You can say bathroom and food is overrated. Fair enough. You know, you know what? Oh my gosh, that's one thing I've learned. I don't know if you live alone or with other people. But I'm trying to remind myself that I should not procrastinate going to the doom. Because if I do, and then suddenly both bathrooms are occupied. Okay, we still have one emergency bathroom we can go to. Or I could also, in a great emergency, I could also uh, go to my brother's apartment uh, upstairs. But yeah. Um... But if all those bathrooms are occupied, or if I, if I, if I, just have the time t for running to the closest bathroom, uh, like the bathroom that's closest to my room, and it's occupied, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to remind myself of that. I live alone, so thank you, thankfully the bathroom is never occupied. You never know. <laughs> no, but seriously, yeah. Or imagine if something important came up or just something randomly and you haven't gone to the loo yet. <laughs> to, the, to the bathroom, to the toilet. Um, but yeah. Just the random story that I'm trying to remind myself of. But yeah. Or if I have to hurry and then my dad went to the bathroom to like, you know, get ready for the day and I'm just like, uh, now I have to wait. <laughs> You never know. <laughs> yes. But yeah, okay, so that doesn't work for you. Um, but yeah, you know what? The earlier you get it done, the earlier you can just go back to chilling on Twitch. <laughs> I had a colleague who was always going to the bathroom before driving in case I have an accident. I really don't want to piss myself. That's smart. <laughs> you know, sometimes I even think about stuff like that as well. I'm just like, okay, what if I just tripped now or something bad happened and then I would be like, shit, I have to go to the loo. <laughs> yeah. Stuff you think about, especially when you have a weak bladder. Although my bladder is kind of better by now, but yeah. Jeans. Jeans didn't do me well. My sister was more lucky. <laughs> but apparently it's a thing with like, uh, that moms often, like if a mom has a weak bladder apparently it often happens or can happen i don't know that um the daughter also gets a weird weak not weird bladder um how much more time are we streaming i will be streaming for the next three hours pretty much three hours and eight minutes probably <laughs> unless i just suddenly feel super bad which i don't think so but yeah what did i want to get out of here so yeah three hours you have three hours you can do it pichu <laughs> But yeah, thank you so much and uh, nice that you're sharing here, that we, you're chatting. <laughs> um, did I want anything else? I don't think so. I got my... Oh, a, a single tomato. Wow, can I sell that? Maybe I shouldn't, in case I need it. Yay, ice cream. <laughs> um, nope, I think I'm good. And there's a gift. I still haven't uh, checked my audio setup really. I should have. Although, no, that's okay. But I. I don't know if I could have easily. I think there's a test audio thing on, on the PlayStation. But I think I've done that. So I think the audio on the PlayStation is okay. And there's just something wrong with a switch to HDMI to my setup and yeah, switch to HDMI the, the switch uh, the HDMI connection from the switch to my setup that's what I meant because yeah I could just you know I hear what's supposed to be on my right side on my left side but I think on my PlayStation it's totally okay like on the right side but yeah um, I always go to the bathroom before going out because I hate public restrooms. Oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I use them if necessary, but I definitely try to avoid them as much as possible. Okay, three hours. Sounds good. I see you all in about two hours, maybe. Hopefully. 
all the best and you know stay safe i hope things go smoothly for you and yeah bye bye and thank you for joining <laughs> Same here, yep. I just, you know, at the cinema, at the cinema it's sometimes hard. But I mostly, I don't drink anything at the cinema because I don't want to miss anything of the, from the movie. And I try not to really drink before the cinema. Not too much at least, it's pretty unhealthy. But if it helps me avoid going to public restrooms. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't drink and I go to the loo before the cinema. Because I want to sit through the movie, I don't want to have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and I also want to be able to, to come home and then I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, um, I have to put this on, otherwise I can't pick up this gift. <laughs> <sighs> Toilet talk, beautiful. The things you don't expect to be able to talk about. <laughs> Pretty sure I have this dress already. It looks uh, pretty fancy. Yep, I have it. Show it to you. <laughs> Yay. Happy, happy, Zani. There you go. <gasps> this makes me think of Moon because of the blue. <laughs> Nox cranny time! Woo! Hold on. Can I pick this up? Yes. That's a cow. A cow -bree. Does it have anything to do with cows? I don't think so. Oh! I was like, what's that? The festival balloon. <laughs> That's why that was kind of a weird. Oh. The uh, shocko from this enchantment. In case you know this enchantment, I love it. <laughs> Oh, Shoko. <laughs> um, can I sell all this? Yes. Yet again, I feel like I wanted to say something else, but I've forgotten about it. You keep betraying me, brain. <laughs> oh. No, I pressed B instead of A. Wow. <clears throat> This brain is random. <laughs> oh my gosh, 32,000. Okay. Yeah, because of the fossils. <clears throat> Festival balloon dump. Okay, I have to change where I'm sitting. And for that, I have to get my hair out of the way. <laughs> that sounds so weird, but my hair is so long. I have to be careful not to sit down on it. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, crossed legs. <laughs> that helped. <laughs> okay, that's much more comfortable. Four thousand. Must be very long. Oh yeah, it's very, very long. <laughs> you know, that that's a hard thing. I can't convey the length of my hair in a profile picture, really. Although, yeah, okay, I can. I could, I mean. But it wouldn't be like... it. I think on phone screens it would be kind of too small, but yeah. Mm. But it's also hard, you know, because I always wear black and I have pretty dark hair. I don't have black hair, but like dark brown hair. So if I wear black and have dark brown hair and then you have a small picture, it's hard to see stuff there. My my hair just vanishes <laughs> in, in my clothes on pictures. Hmm. I really don't know how I could properly capture my hair. You know, like, how could I convey that outside of real life? <laughs> Like, okay, with like bigger pictures and so on, or with like properly taken pictures, or with like hair in action, you know, <laughs> I could, I could, yeah, you could see how long my hair is, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny, it's also one of the things, uh, um, a, not a relative, but kind of relative, even a family friend of mine, who hasn't seen me like three years or so, I don't know. Uh, but they noticed that as well, like, oh my gosh, your hair has gotten long. 
Mine was always hitting. Oh, mine was almost hitting my butt, but I started hating it last summer. Oh, I didn't expect that. I would like to see the difference if you want to share it somewhere. I don't know. I'm just very curious about that. But if you don't want to, uh, yeah, it's it's your thing. I wouldn't be mad. <laughs> I won't be mad. Um, but yeah, I kind of I kind of know the feeling because when I was ten years old, my hair hit my butt, and I think it's. I think my hair is nearly getting longer. Like I, I'm, I'm about to hit the longest hair length I ever had. I think my hair was about as long as it's now. Although I was, I was smaller when I was ten years old. I was like ten centimeters smaller, so my hair is the longest it's ever been now. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't want. I don't know when I cut it. I guess when I was like 11, 12 years old or so, twelve years old, and then I started dyeing the tips, and then I did I dye my hair. Yes, I've dyed my hair completely. Oh yeah, I nearly forgot that I was blonde once. <laughs> um, is that the right balloon? Yes. And then I just cut it a bunch of times because of dyeing my tips and uh, dyeing my all of my 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 up here, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, because uh, it's, it's yeah, it can strain the hair quite a lot to dye your hair. Um, and when was the last time I properly cut a part of it? Um, I think when I was like 16, 17, 18 years old or so. I think since I've only really cut my tips. Yeah. <laughs> Never made photos with the full length, oh, but I have some with waist length on my edge. Ooh. Ooh, I should check that out. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. <laughs> oh, 12 p.m. in the game. Um, I think I have this. I think I have this as well. But you know, gonna check. <laughs> but yeah, I have I have c quite the hair history. <laughs> I, I used to have partially turquoise hair, I used to have uh, green hair tips, I used to have blonde hair, uh, kind of blonde white hair, uh, turquoise blue hair, a completely blue turquoise, um, black hair, black slash brown with grey tips. Wait, did the music... Oh gosh. My brain just did a weird thing. It just sounded like, in my brain for a second, it sounded like the music had sped up. Wow. Oh, nice, all the colors. Yes. <laughs> and you know, sometimes I miss doing things with my hair, but I honestly feel the most comfortable with how it is right now. I just... And I also... I'm By now, I'm just like, I don't want to... I don't know what it's really about, but I don't feel like like damaging it or doing like like buying or also spending money on the, the stuff and so on. I don't know. Also buying hair dyes. I know that they are like vegan hair dyes and more skin friendly and hair friendly hair dyes, but nee. it's just it's just it's it's yeah. <laughs> hmm. How do I explain this? I don't know. Because if you talk about it more directly, if you, like, take the hardcore stuff, <laughs> if you use the hardcore stuff, you know, ultimately it's bleach. And, like, bleaching your hair is, I, honestly, it's, it's quite a crazy process. So, yeah, I guess I don't feel like that anymore. Also, it takes hours and my asthma doesn't like the smells <laughs> of the of the dye. But I'm, I'm happy about people having colorful hair. <laughs> and I guess I would just uh, prefer wigs, wigs but I, I, I'm also too lazy to... to put on wigs and I also don't really go outside so yeah if I use the face cam I, I could be like oh I can use this for creative stuff and uh, you know use the wigs I have and like <laughs> allow myself to buy wigs because it would have a purpose but I, I guess I'm more on the comfortable side and I don't care too much about looks I like creative stuff that's I guess that's where my love for like creative hair styles and like colors i think that just all goes into character design so i'm more about drawing such things and less about actually styling myself or others <laughs> um 
Oh, I'm lucky. I don't need to bleach. Yes, you're lucky. Uh, I had found the, perf the, the perfect hair color. It's even plant based, but the company is not cruelty. Oh no. No. I, I hope you somehow, through a different path, find that hair color again. Or a better one. <laughs> yeah. But you know I like your hair color. You're just... I think basically from the first time I saw you on a just all fit. I was just like, okay, that's that hair color, and also your your channel kind of like your mode colors. That's that's just pheromone in my head. <laughs> I just immediately connect those colors with you now, and with Twitch kind of, but more with you. <laughs> um, it's not exactly the same colors, but like kind of the a similar direction. That's why I said and Twitch. <laughs> oh gosh, I nearly coughed there while laughing. Okay, drying rag. <laughs> I'm just talking all over the place. And I guess I have that one already, but the app has to load the vari the variations. Yes, I have this one already. Okay. I feel like I should drink something. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want it. Little nooklings. After a, a long time, I saw uh, the the first version, the initial version of Nook's Cranny you get in... in... Would you stop getting so close to me? <laughs> um, yeah, I saw the initial version of Nook's Cranny after a long time again in Animal Crossing New Horizons, not the very first version, but like this Animal Crossing New Horizons version. And I was so surprised how, how hard it was for me to remember that, like, oh my gosh, it's been a while since I've last seen it. I don't know if I'm gonna go back to black or oh, back to black, because it's easier. I've tried all the common purple dyes and they are just not that good as uh, this one. Oh no. <laughs> but I only have stock for one more coloring wave. <gasps> then I'd have to look for a new one. Ah, oh. Interesting. I just, it's kind of a weird switch there, like, ah, oh, interesting. <laughs> but I was like, huh, you can just, you can just try something kind of new or have a change now. I don't know if that helps, that kind of thought to just like, you know what, you have an opportunity here, just just try whatever you feel like, or just follow your gut, I don't know. But I know it can be hard. When I used to dye my hair, or when I was about to change my hair, I would think for weeks about what to do with my hair, and then I would kind of still, in the last few days of those weeks, I would still like, I would still change everything around. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it's such a struggle because it does so much because you have your hair around you all the time. And it's not just that you can only see it in the mirror often, unless you have very short hair, I guess. But you can also see it like around your face and so on. Alright, maybe I'll just shave everything off. Let's go! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've also thought about like if I ever had incredibly long hair, it felt like a change or was like nah I don't like long hair anymore which I feel like I, I won't ever reach that point again <laughs> um, but who knows I still have hopefully many years ahead of me um, but I was like okay if I feel like a drastic change I would go for like very short hair or even a buzz cut and I would donate my hair if possible because I know it's it's you you can't donate dyed hair I think but I think my hair is all natural by now I think it should be. If I look at the tips, it looks pretty much like my own hair. <laughs> yeah. But on the other hand, I also feel like having black hair again. Oh, just imagine my super long hair all black. Oh my gosh, that's such a dream. Oh. Or all white blonde, but I will never bleach my hair again, I think, because it's just... Oh. Ah. <laughs> that's the struggle. I, I See, I can relate. <laughs> um... Yeah, saxophone. Do I have that? Yes. I feel like I looked that up so so often. And what are you? Something with a display accessory? Glass showcase. Okay. Like in general, OMG. Yeah. Oh, oh that's beautiful. <laughs> And you know it's so funny because before I uh, dyed, colored, 
died, I died, I don't know. But before I uh, first dyed my hair black, people were like, oh, you're going to look so pale, it's going to look so dark, so dull, and I don't know, it will make your hair flat. And after I did it, everyone said it's the best hair color I ever had. It's so crazy. Because <laughs> it also, oh, it makes my eyes pop so much. Oh, because I, you know, I have blue eyes. <laughs> and they just look much brighter somehow. Oh, I, I love it. I miss it. <laughs> and I also like, somehow I, yeah, I, I think I like, I only somehow like wearing black, uh, wearing white when I have black hair. Like a white top, because then the, the black hair pops so much. Oh. <laughs> Typical, yeah. It's, I was like, no, I want black hair. It's going to look good. You will see. And everyone was like, yeah, okay. It's it's ultimately it's your thing, but nah. <laughs> yeah. And like, oh my gosh, this is the best hair color you ever had. <laughs> ah. As I said, I also missed the like blonde, the white blonde, but I feel like ultimately the darker colors fit me better. And I've also thought about like, okay, what would I look like with very different hair colors? Like, I don't know. Okay, yellow is kind of very much out there. But purple, pink or red. But red has always been like kind of my sister's hair color. She switched between red and blue over the years. Or like turquoise, blue, I don't know. Has she ever, I think she even had purple hair at some point, but I'm not sure anymore. So yeah, red was always kind of like my sister's color, but I've... I sometimes thought about kind of a ginger hair color, but I don't know. I feel like that's also not really my thing. I'm more on the colder side of colors. I don't know. Um, the darker cold side. <laughs> um, and purple, yeah, it's also warm. I guess just like red, purple, pink. That's just... Purple is more cold and purple can be very cold. But yeah, I guess it's also too colorful for me by now. I, th I feel like turquoise and green were the most colorful things I would do and like by now it's also like nah I don't really crave those colors um, and yeah pink is oh I hit my microphone whoops <laughs> yeah pink is also not my thing I I've explained it before at some point like many streams ago um, I love the pink and tur turquoise in my like my channel colors and my kind of logo and my uh, twitch What's it called? A banner. I, I love the pink there. I love like using all the colors in artwork and so on. But in clothing and my own hair, in my own clothing and hair, or in my room, no pink, please, no. <laughs> mm, I stick to the cooler uh, tone colors too. Oh, yay. <laughs> I guess it just, yeah, it just vibes more with like our dark direction. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 12,000. <laughs> um. <clears throat> okay, uh, purpose. <laughs> I had to. I had to set that up before I would say something again. <laughs> or oh, I wanted to set it up. Um. But what did I want to say now? Do I have these things? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, this pink, it, it seems interesting to me, and I would do it in a theater acting cosplay sense, but not in my personal style. Um, or like, I've also thought about like an emerald dark green at some point. I was like, I was considering like black with some, kind of some Aurora Borealis vibes, so it was like blue and green in there a bit, but that's hard to achieve. And also when it washes out, you just have like random blonde spots in there. It's yeah. Yeah, that's that's the struggle. Also with bleaching. <laughs> um or also oh gosh, when it, oh gosh, when your hair grows out, like your real colour comes back, it's like at certain points it looks cool when you have a bit of a brown start. Um like when uh, some brown roots it looks cool. Well, especially when it gets longer, I also like that. But when you're in that weird middle zone, or when it just starts to grow back, like when the, the, the your natural hair color is just coming back out, it's so annoying to keep dyeing your hair, uh, bleaching your hair. It's, oh. oh, it's annoying. <laughs> um, 
it's kind of weird for me to talk about this because it feels like I, I, I dyed my hair in another life. It feels like it's been so long. <laughs> oh, okay, I have this ironing set. Okay. <laughs> my roots never look cool, just ugly washed out whatever color. Oh, no. Ah. But you know what's crazy? Some washed out colors can look crazy good. Ah, crazy. When I had turquoise hair, it would, at some point, I can't even explain it. It would look kind of like an ice turquoise with like white in it. It's it's weird. Ooh, like pastel? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Yep, that's what I mean. Basically pas pastel turquoise in a way. It's it's so crazy. Uh, especially like, yeah, what was also crazy is that we drove through a tunnel after I had di had my got after I got my turquoise hair. And parts of it looked white in the tunnel because of the weird light situation. I don't, I still don't understand what happened there. But I was like, what the fuck? I have blue and white hair suddenly. <laughs> and then we came out of the tunnel, uh, daylight, and I was like, oh, okay, it's turquoise again. <laughs> I guess it's because of like some spots were more green, some spots picked up more color, some less color, and so on. And yeah, that sounds cool. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> But yeah, at some point I was thinking about like emerald mixed with like black. But yeah, I guess that's when I was already like, nah, that's too colorful for me. I, I prefer natural or, or black. <laughs> or if I could, I guess I would also like white hair. But Although would I? I feel like that would be too bright. <laughs> my poor eyes. <laughs> no, I don't know. I guess my favorite, if I go away from natural, I guess my favorite is still black. Hmm. Back. <laughs> <clears throat> Strapped books. But you know what's funny? I never wanted a different. Um... Which version is this? This one? Yep, I think so. Um... Oh, yeah, it's called. Is it called hair texture? I never really wanted a different hair texture. Like I love, I love, I just love straight hair. I think it also looks cool to have like curls or like kind of unusual hair, kind of an unusual hair texture. I don't know. Um, but I never really felt like curls would suit me. Really, I don't know. So yeah, the flat is just like with the flat hair. It's, oh, love it. Straight hair, not flat. <laughs> Straight is the right word. Um, haha, straight hair, yeah, haha, but not straight on the inside. <laughs> That's such a shitty joke. Um, but I had to say it because it was in my brain and I was like, out you go. It's gotta come out, uh, like, I, I, I've got to say it. <laughs> Why, Kano? Why? <laughs> As a guy, I've also found perma weird perms. Perms? You mean like curls? Cur curls or what? Sorry if I... Dauerwelle, well, okay, good. That's what I thought about. I wasn't sure whether that's what you meant. Okay, thank you. Ferrum and the German help here. Like Austrian German help, but still German language. <laughs> I'm not weird, but this... Uh, this is time to get one. Ah, okay. Thank you for your input. Interesting to hear. <laughs> but yeah, just straight hair is just my jam. <laughs> Oh, Vic is outside. We can talk to him. Aurora's feeling better. We can talk to her. <laughs> oh, Henry also. I forgot about him. <gasps> Everyone except for Foxy is here. We can talk to him in a triangle. Yeah, it basically makes your hair curly. Yep. I think that's what my mom does. I'm, I'm happy she... Although, am I? Yeah. <laughs> it might sound mean, but I've also told her that. I think I'm pretty happy she switched hairdressers. Because... With like what she would always do, I felt like she would kind of look older than with like her natural hair, but I also understood that she didn't want to just let her hair be randomly curly. If that's not what she likes, then she can do whatever you, her she wants, you know. But with her new hairdresser, kind of new hairdresser, I just I, I just feel like she looks more modern and I also told her that, that this kind of makes her look younger instead of older. Which also makes sense because, uh, yeah, because of the client groups, those different hairs dresses, stylists, whatever I have. Straight hair is OP! 
I would basically, uh, I would also absolutely try a perm, but it probably wouldn't work. My hair is too fine and doesn't hold anything. Yeah, yeah, I guess the same would go for my hair. <laughs> Let's find me the hair that is uh, diametrically thick. I think fine in the sense of a thin, right? Thin, yeah? Thin, yes, Barryman says it. <laughs> fine. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love thi one thing in uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, but I don't want to give sp spoilers. Even if it's just a minor thing, I don't want to give spoilers. Season 7, I haven't seen Season 8 yet. Don't talk about Season 8, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, or I will throw you out. <laughs> oh, wrong word, not diametrically, like referencing the diameter. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Oh my gosh, the challenge, the challenge, no. Uh, the channel is even called Almond, seriously? <laughs> That's a creative channel name. Um, put something away and then I have to talk to those villagers. Don't waste your time, Kana. Oh, I don't need camps anymore. Okay, now you're fishing, but I can talk to you. Talk, talk, talk. Let's get those photos. I still have to go on a mystery island tour. But. Oh, thank you for those, uh, for whatever sneakers <laughs> I was seeing. You know what I've noticed over like the past year or months? I don't know. I'm reading about more and more brands uh, not using fur anymore or like having a set date for when they will stop using fur. And honestly, that makes me so happy that that's happening more and more. I don't know if it's actually happening more. I think so. But I'm just like, oh, yes. This is like progress. You can actually have a bunch of great news. Like, even if it's, you know, they still use leather most of the time, which is super hypocritical, but well, step by step. <laughs> um, just the fact that there is stuff to celebrate and that um, activism campaigns actually change something. That's just like... Yes, hell yes! Yeah, I also hope uh, Hermes uh, will be stopped from... or will stop using... abusing crocodiles. I, yeah. I really hope so. I'm trying to uh, participate there online as well. Uh, honestly, I, th I feel like I would also go to protests uh, in front of stores or demonstrations. Yeah. Um, but Corona and asthma. My, my asthma gives me kind of a smoke allergy, so whenever someone would pass who's smoking, or if people were around me who smelled of smoke, I would have to run away or die. <laughs> no, not die, but yeah. Damage my body very much with coughing. Um, if it's thinner, it won't hold shape, but it also means it's more easily styled with products. Oh, I have hair that's like a toilet brush and no product ever works. No, it is exactly like this. Pros and cons. Yep. Yep, yep. <laughs> Like, my sister has... I can't even describe it. She has both curly hair... I really don't know how to describe it. It's just... It has a lot of volume and it's hard to brush and it's curly. But she keeps it shorter by now, so it's... It doesn't have as much huge volume, you know? It's, it's hard to describe. Um... But yeah, she could do a bunch of things with her hair that would never work with my hair. We just have basically the exact opposite hair. <laughs> it's funny. Okay. <gasps> yes! I wanna go to your home! Yes! Why oh, are you coming to my home? No, he says let's go. Okay. Or is he... he we're going to his home, right? Yes, oh gosh, now I have to remember what to do without P2. No, we're going to mine home. Woo! Mine, my home. <gasps> because he wants to check out the the style of my home. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Okay, <laughs> I'm very happy. Please give me a photo. I don't know anything about decorating. Never understood how anyone creates a look for their face. I've read that line so often, but I just want. Yep, I just wanted to hear it in the context of the ring con. I mean, how do you know to pick out your ring con? <laughs> Because I use it. <laughs> okay, I don't use it anymore in real life, but it's the, the purpose here in the game. <laughs> when I cut my hair with the longest lasting methods, it's straight again after about three hours max. 
Oh, curl, not cut. I was confused. My brain. When I curl my hair with the longest lasting methods, it's straight again after about three hours max. Wow. My hair would sometimes get slightly wavy when I've washed it, but that's the maximum I get. I mean, I could try kind of curling it. Oh no, the maximum is after I've braided it, after I had it braided for a long time. But then I can't brush it. If I brush it, it's immediately straight again. If I ever protested in front of a shop, I'd hold a sign saying get lifted into the air by, by a week weekend. Oh, that's, that's so cool. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> That's a nice idea. Hehe, <laughs> proving people wrong immediately. Where do you get your protein from? Look at the protein. <laughs> In action. <sighs> oh. Hey, no. Just because I didn't press A. No. Stick around. I'm so sorry, Vic. I have to take better care of you. Like, as a guest. Come on in. <laughs> yes. But it's a cherry, okay. <laughs> you wait. Okay, you come with me. If you knock, you don't come with me. It's really a good idea. Yes! <laughs> How long did it take you to learn to walk here? Automatic washer. Washer, yes. Washer. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's noises! Stop it! Oh no, it will continue, this is cursed. Why is this room so cursed? Why do we have to play a card game next to this cursed noise? <laughs> uh, okay. What's in uniform? No. I don't know. Oh my gosh, so please tell me this does... This sounds horrible to use, well, or like weird. Like, you could have that in a horror game in the background. Then you would have to go get closer to the washing machine or to the bathroom, and then it would suddenly stop or something, I don't know. Or there could be something horrible in there, or you look at, into it, and then there's nothing, and then you turn around, and the monster jumps at you or something, I don't know. <laughs> or there's just nothing, and it's just everything's just uncomfortable, and you don't know what's going on, and you're just waiting for something to come. <clears throat> I've watched so many horror let's plays <laughs> and played some horror games myself <laughs> and watched several horror movies. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's barely higher. But hey, how unlikely would it have been to get a one to be a one? Wow. Brain. <laughs> it's free, you win. <laughs> Send him a phone. Okay, do I have that? That is an inspired spot for fragrance diffusers. Inspired. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's get away from this noise. No, don't sit down. <laughs> okay, Zen uniform. It sounds familiar, but I, I don't know. Great. This, oh, I don't have it yet. Um, wait, I can sell these, I can sell that. This is definitely new, but it depends on the color. Okay, cute. <laughs> Red and blue. Okay, hello. Feels like vacationing. Why do they always comment on my retina armchair? <sighs> What vacation destination? Okay. <laughs> Ancient statue. Oh, it's flying. Okay. Come with me. <laughs> it would be so good if we went back to the bathroom and he turned off my automatic washer. <laughs> I figured I'd just watch the news because I got tired of nonsense and wanted something more serious. I'm reading this out because I'm hoping that would be the this continues. I'm hoping this will continue in a funny way. Well, what's a rotten armchair? I don't even know what it is exactly. I think it's like I think the table behind me, uh, behind me. Jesus, these are expensive as well. 
What in real life? Really? Or the TV? Okay. Um, I think it's a f certain. At least that's what it looks like to me. I think it's how you weave kind of wood or bamboo. I don't know what it's made of or rattan. What I don't know. I think it's the weaving pattern there. I don't know. Um, but these days the news is just a bunch of goofy nonsense too. <laughs> I was kind of hoping for that. Thank you for this writing, Nintendo. <laughs> Or uh, AC development team. <laughs> that's 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 just classic. <laughs> I googled it and the f and first set is one thousand seven hundred for two chairs. <laughs> Both. <laughs> oh yeah, I think this lamp is also rattan and this table. Maybe it's the wood or something. And it looks like something you would find in a Malaysian village. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I want to come to your place. Oh, why is the fruit is dancing? Oh, cute! It's even the Animal Crossing fruits. Let's watch TV. Oh my gosh! Imagine this as a thumbnail. That would be so cursed. Health? Did it say health? Cottage. I got a couch. Couch for five bucks. Nice. Hill. <laughs> it sounds like what well, looks like H E maybe an A and then L H. So it's not really health, but like ill. <laughs> oh, H E O. Uh, wouldn't this be such a curse or something? <laughs> Wait. Okay. This isn't this great. Symmetrical, kind of. <laughs> I just like making these weird visuals. Or capturing these weird visuals. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, no, no. I enjoy playing around with this stuff. It's, it's so random. Lucky with the lucky picture in the background there. Or I did put a TV show in. Yeah. <laughs> I think I don't know at which time. Maybe at midnight. I don't know. But there's a time at which an alien broadcast starts, I think. Yeah, you can see an alien on TV there. I think I accidentally saw that at one point. And then I thought that was just normal, but then I watched a video about like Easter eggs in Animal Crossing, I think. And then it was like, oh, this is special. <laughs> oh, I did not know. Oh no. Okay, enough camera stuff. Okay, he's talking about the rattan thing again. No, that's not what I wanted. Eh, I will be there first. Whoa. Nope. Turn off the TV, please. No! What's in my... Yep, yeah, what's in my water? <laughs> but you know, maybe it's more expensive or like that expensive because of because it's from a certain brand or because of what it's made of. I don't know, but I want to look that up now. Oh, dang. I think it opened on my main display. My browser? Yes, okay. I just had to move the browser over to my other screen. And now I will see Animal Crossing in a sec again. I can't see it yet? Okay. <laughs> oh, the pain. Okay, um... What the... What are you? It's about time I'm looking that up. Also, spider rattan is the name for roughly 600 species of old world climbing palms. Okay, it's made of palm wood, okay. Belonging to subfamily Kalamawab. Rattan canes? Canes, okay. One of the most. One of the world's most valuable non timber forest birds. Okay, that explains it. Some species of rattan also have edible scaly fruit and heart of palm. Okay. 
I might even have stuff made out of that, but I don't know. It's just, or maybe I have stuff that looks like it. I don't know. Okay, maybe not. It looks a bit too fancy. <laughs> um, theoretical furniture. What does rotten Philippines? Okay, so yeah, comes from top tropical places. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that stuff is expensive. <laughs> Makes sense though. <laughs> Playing what? It's valuable? <laughs> you mean... Okay. No, I think it's something more, more European or German, what I have. It just kind of looks similar, at least the weaving style or whatever. I don't know. Okay, Cypress plant. Or maybe something old somehow, I don't know. Maybe my family has something like that. I don't know, I should ask my parents if they know what it's made of. But I feel like the stuff is more round. And the rat rattan, rotten, whatever. I think that's more flat. So I guess it's something different, I don't know. Ba -ba -da -da -ba -da -ba -ba Welcome to my kitchen. Oh, I've never really looked at the other side of this. Wow. What is that? Is that like a mini oven? Or stuff I don't know about. Okay. <laughs> How cute. It's a really nice place, kiddo. I'm definitely gonna steal a few ideas from you. Okay. <laughs> it's my melon. My melon ball in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, stop yawning. <clears throat> Why am I talking to my buddy like this? <laughs> stop yawning. No fancy music. Comment on my. Yes. Yes, it's even it's a rotten waste bin. Animal Crossing. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Stash and curses. <laughs> Not only have you saved on closet space, but you've also lifened li up the place. Well done. <laughs> I can show you. Mustache and glasses. Oh, it's so funny to run around with this mask. I I could use something underneath here. Like an outfit that fits this. Uh, my horns going through here. <laughs> but I don't know what. And, oh my gosh, do I have the shoes? Are these the only types of shoes I have? I don't think so. So I should... If I continued with this design, I would have to put the shoes around here. But... Okay. <laughs> Wow, the panel. I swear he's looking at the panel. <laughs> cool. To the basement. The tour continues and I have to pour myself a glass of orange juice soon. Because I, I gotta hydrate. <laughs> oh gosh, nearly two and a half hours. How did the time just pass like this? <laughs> And I only had like one or two sips of water in two and a half hours. Wow. I, I guess I'm talking so much that, yeah. Time just passes. I wish I could sit down on the exercise ball. Oh my gosh, if you stare at the arms too long, it starts looking creepy. Like if, as if I were just a weird creature with this, these arm things popping out. Oh my gosh, I gotta stop. <laughs> wow, yeah, I have a weird basement. <laughs> and the lighting is nice. Hee <laughs> hee, ruined the mood. <laughs> Honestly, like this is, just looks weird. <gasps> it's a fake one, right? I wanted to check if I have the fake or the real one at home. But yeah, I seriously thought I had the fake one at home. And I thought it looked like the real one. Like, I thought this were the looks of the real one. 
So when I saw the actual real one, it... I don't like looking at this painting so closely. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, that's not what I wanted. Oh no. Lights. Yes. Um, so I thought the fake looks were the real looks and when I saw the real painting, I didn't buy it. And then I learned that I confused the real and the fake one. So I didn't buy the real one when I had the chance and now I have to wait for it to finish my collection. Yes. The exercise ball slapping was actually kind of hypnotic. I guess it looks less creepy. <laughs> It's also kind of cool between the two lights, honestly. Haha, <laughs> and because I keep pressing A, the UI doesn't uh, pop up. <laughs> Jam into the beat of the exercise for slapping <laughs> oh my god she started singing <laughs> this, this is, oh my gosh imagine this as a starting screen oh my gosh I could actually do that but I would have to shut up for that Can't anymore. Ah. Okay. Oh, he stopped singing. Good. The problem is, it feels like we are worshiping an alien or something. Yes. Yes, please. Ooh, be content. Thank you so very much. Gosh, I just enjoyed doing random shit today. Slap the ball for Zorg on the grate. Yes. This place is all right. Why didn't you tell me you were a wizard interior design cut? Everything for Zorg on the Great. <laughs> oh my gosh. Kenna, hi, Moon. We just did very cursed stuff. Very cursed stuff. Oh gosh, I have to turn off the washing machine in game. I'm having maple coffee. Oh, with maple almond cream. Oh, nice. Enjoy. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Oh, I gotta turn off that washing machine. It's also cursed. <laughs> I, maybe it turned off itself. Turn off. Do you like coffee? No. Oh, it turned off itself. No, I just, you know, when I tried coffee the few times in my life, I, um, it just tasted bitter to me. And I was like, nah, why should I drink it then? Why should I try to like it? <laughs> Moon, cursed mode. Oh gosh, why do they keep sitting down on my toilet? What about hot chocolate? Yes. <laughs> I like hot chocolate, but I I don't often make it anymore. I don't know why. I guess I'm currently more on an orange juice trip. Oh, speaking of. Oh god, no! <laughs> don't you like Ferriman's cursed emotes? <laughs> or cursed emote and the other one, the tense emote. <laughs> oh, yes, Lord. <gasps> Farrah! <laughs> They're sitting on the toilet. Yes! And it's flashing. Gotta wash your hands, Vic. Wash your hands. Oh. Fun, it's just funny. Wash your hands. <laughs> Please. Look at the water going to wait. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jade. <Jay. laughs> oh. But oh, you know what's funny? When you get a bad fortune. And your luck with health diminishes. Then you can go to the toilet and you will have diarrhea. Like, even when you leave the toilet, your character will say stuff like, Oh, I still don't feel so so good. <laughs> Loki, I'm liking the vibe of the sparkling more than you. 
<laughs> I just, you know, whenever I had something that was black or white, I would, or a plant, then I would just check, okay, can I put it, like, does it fit in my living, uh, yeah, in my living room, in my bathroom, in my weird as fuck basement, or in my uh, crafting room, or in my kitchen? Yeah, that was it. <laughs> um, and then I would just randomly put it there, and then my house just came to life somehow. <laughs> Oh, I got it. Yes, I opened the orange juice bottle. But yeah, um, we were doing cursed stuff. And oh yeah, what I wanted to say earlier. The problem is... Um, I don't have my... Um, like I don't record separate... Like I only have one audio recording. And I feel like it... It could be so useful to separate those audio things, like s record my voice separately. So I could just m mute that or mute the music whenever I have like copyright issues or whatever on YouTube. But I've never gotten to it and I'm kind of afraid to getting to it. Because, afraid of getting to it, because I don't want to mess up my setup. Because, you know, never touch a running system. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, I've got to drink something and then we will kick him out because we've been spending a lot of time on this and I hope he will give... Oh wait, we haven't played the card game yet. Will you play the card game? No, we have played the card game. In the bathroom. Next to the cursed washing machine. <laughs> but first I gotta drink something. Wee, enjoy the music in here. <laughs> um... I'm a bit of an orange juice addict lately. <sighs> and I love this rain wallpaper, it's oh, so cool. I like the Aurora Borealis one as well, but I just love rain. Okay, Vic, time to go. Lights off, time to go. <laughs> I'm just letting him sit there in the dark and then I just go like bye. <laughs> Something came out. <sighs> okay, cool. Now I can sell this stuff. I could either try talking to the other villagers now. Like the other ones I want pictures from. Or I go on a mystery island tour. First I gotta look at my to-do list because I'm I feel like by now I've forgotten to to write down stuff or remove stuff. Yep, looks cranny. We've spoken to Vic. Oh okay, not even that much left. Okay. Ah uh, my nose is itching. But yeah, by the way, uh, thank you for, for joining again, Moon. I'm just Honestly, I'm fascinated by all the stuff you do. Like, you you are so supportive. Um, for others, you do your daily streaming. You you know, you also got an own life. You gotta take care of yourself. And you're active in the Discord and, like, everything. And I'm sure there's a bunch of stuff I don't know about as well, like, which makes sense. But, <laughs> yeah. I think you get what I mean. Like, you just do so much. <laughs> and I'm grateful for all the support and... Like all the the, the the lovely lovely things you you do for the community. <laughs> I haven't spoken to Butch yet, right? I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> what? <laughs> <Must you> old what? <laughs> Alright, Foxes is home, so we can't have her invite us. Anyone here? Just kicks. Henry! Never gonna give you up, but. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> <clears throat> I feel like he will just get upset or like busy in his head. I, I just always call it upset. Um, and I guess he won't want to talk to us anymore. I don't think he invites us from his sitting position. <laughs> what? Okay, yeah, I was fine. 
viel, viel der Klaus. Oh, Tofu! Ich spoke about good Tofu. Okay. Oh, he was still smiling for a sec though. Oh, that looked kind of cute. Cute, cute. Okay, Big Fox is at home. Aurora. Is Aurora, is Aurora at home? No, no. Kid, we don't have to talk to you anymore, but I will still say hi. Oh, wait, we said hi to you. That's Vic. We just had a Vic at home. Oh, shells. You know what's weird? I feel like it makes sense, but I also feel weird about it, so I'm just going to randomly share it. Like, sometimes I might think of people very similarly or have a similar relationship. Like, if I take one relationship, like the relationship I have with person A and the relationship I have with person B, and they are quite similar, but I might still think about things very differently. Like, how do I say that? I might be more anxious to talk to us a, a, a person A than person B, despite those similarities. I don't know why. I think intuitively, when I think about it, it kind of makes sense to me, but I can't exactly point at what to do there. No. I have no idea if that's understandable if you don't deal with like social anxiety or being an introvert. I don't know. <laughs> Hi Kanashi, hi Hansi! I have to go now, see ya! Bye bye! Thank you for joining! And hello Hansi! <laughs> what what was your latest stream? Was it unpacking? What, was that you? I'm not sure anymore. Dang it. But I saw something. And I think I liked that. If it was unpacking, it would make sense. <laughs> but hello, thank you so much for joining and I hope you're having a good weekend. <laughs> And congratulations again on, on affiliate and like channel points and stuff. <laughs> Gosh, I really hope that I, I don't confuse stuff because with the beans I've gotten to know so many people. <laughs> and yeah, like basically so many streamers and I hope I don't mix up things. <laughs> like what game did which uh, streamers stream? <laughs> Bury that tree. Oh, there's a gift. Hmm. I feel like I should visit Vivienne because I've I haven't gotten a, a recipe yet, right? And I haven't been to Vivienne's place. Oh, I should check when shooting stars come this month. Or oh, have I written that down? I don't know. Woo! There's a recipe. <gasps> I'm a bit tired hyper today, so don't be surprised if I talk a bunch of random weird stuff. <laughs> Shawl over to it, okay. Uh, monthly on the 4th. No, 11th. <laughs> Not 4th, oh my god. On the 11th there will be shooting stars. So has Aurora, does Aurora visit every week? January. She could have visited on the 31st. Did I check on the 30? I must have checked on the 31st, right? Oh no, we're in 2023. Oops. <laughs> um, gotta go back, back, back. 2020. Oh, wait. February 2021. January. Okay. Uh, January 31st and 30th. Yep, I did check there. I can remember that. And then on the 4th, okay, this makes more sense. Because they have to be shooting stars every week, right? Okay, 4th. Is my stream connection good? Good. Uh, no drop frames. <laughs> I would struggle trying to rem remember what everyone plays, no worries. <laughs> oh, thank you for understanding. I mean, I guess it makes sense because you feel the same way. So, yeah, but still, thank you. And thank you for sharing. 
Okay, so we have the second and then two in-game days. I don't know if we will get there, so we'll just close this again. But yeah, two in-game days. Maybe we will get there tomorrow. Maybe we will have shooting stars tomorrow. In-game. <laughs> okay, oversized shawl overshirt. Overshirt? What, what is this? <laughs> ah, okay. Which color do you have? Gotta put it on. <laughs> To find out. Ta da! Take the brown one. <clears throat> Gosh, I, I drink too much. Although, not really. Just I guess it's just because of the orange juice. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mixed fruit tar, I feel like I have that. Yep. No. Okay. Do I? Will she tell me now? I have it right. Otherwise she wouldn't have said that. Yep, okay. Um gotta write it down. Mixed fruit tar. Why do I have never gonna give you up? <laughs> why did I say that so weirdly? But why do I have that in my head? Because I started singing it earlier. Yes, but where did that come from there? I don't know. Never gonna give you up. <laughs> that shit. Ah, I feel like someone quoted it somewhere. Hmm. Happens a bunch of times. Hmm. Never gonna give, never gonna give. Do, 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 ba, ba. Alrighty. What's next? I guess selling stuff for the mystery other two and finding Aurora maybe. Where are you? Don't tell me you're visiting Foxy. <laughs> oh, there you are. Oh, and Henry. Nice. So we can talk to both of them. Yes. Give me a photo. I find it funny when she does this cold thing because she's vanguard. <laughs> and she looks so cute. <gasps> yes. I would have preferred if you had invited yourself to my home, I think. Yeah, I would have. But still. Right now. I'm I'm happy with either. It's better than none of those. <laughs> Whoop whoop. Pass to photos. <laughs> Please sell me this, this or this. That would be so cool. Please. <laughs> Pro sprint jacket, I have that. Yeah. All of them. It's the split, so I'm gonna go random. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can sell it. <laughs> oh, baby. Ooh. This. Yes. Yes. I think she got it from me or someone. Yes, finally. Oh, so much better already. Oh, I never noticed the candles there. Interesting. Oh my gosh, I could have bought an Aquarius urn. Oh my gosh. Imagine having Julian on a, on your island. And you've gotten the, the happy home... No. Uh, happy home paradise thing that you can basically reset the villager homes and Julian has a bunch of um, zodiac items imagine going to him over and over again until you can buy stuff from him buy stuff from him and constantly reset his home you would save so many crafting items that way it's also quite an effort but still imagine oh my gosh 
Aurora gave me gave me your Aquarius urns, but I unfortunately I, I I care more about the designs, even though I'm going to kick them out when they have uh, when I have their photos. Why? I guess if I can next time she asks me, I will probably buy that fish. But I could also buy this before I kick her out. Oh my gosh, it would be so useful. <laughs> But yeah, I felt I, I felt very strongly about removing that spinning wheel. So yeah. <laughs> Whee. Oh, cute. <laughs> you found the comfiest spot in the whole place. Believe it or not, it's my frozen bed. <laughs> Sounds comfy. <laughs> Cozy on up, uh, up on it with a big cup of tea. Yes, Aurora knows what's up. <laughs> No. Oh, now I really feel the cozy vibes. Oh. No, you're not boring. <laughs> oh, fishy. Rainbow ship. What? Rainbow what? <laughs> oh. Okay, we've played a game, we've bought something, we've looked at stuff. Oh, give me! But I guess I can't buy stuff from her multiple times. It sounds as comfy as a cactus chair. Yep! <laughs> okay, bye bye Aurora. I am happy your home is finally nearly in, a, in its original state again. If we just ignore the, the, the poor fish over there, then... Uh, yeah. Actually, people might love a cold bed. Yeah, maybe some. Not me. <laughs> oh. uh, ooh, it's called stale cupcakes. I didn't know that. But yeah, the first time we visit that place, they always give us... Oh, what? Hey, it's already an hour later? Okay. Dang. Wow, I have nearly two hours of streaming left. <laughs> How oh, does stuff go so quickly somehow? I don't know. Yes, that's what happens when you have fun. <laughs> wow, it's seriously like that. Um, but yeah, the first time we visit, they will always give us their song. So next time we have a chance. Or in the mail the next day. You know what I'm partially thinking about? Skipping Mystery Island tours or not going through the islands so thoroughly. Yeah, I think I might that I think that might actually make sense or be okay. Cause you, I, I looked at my invent like we looked at the storage earlier. I, I just randomly went through it, but then I was like, dang, I have so much iron and so much stone. I still want the gold though, but I don't have a lucky day today, so maybe uh, does storage just pop up there? Okay. <laughs> Wait, we have Henry. Henry, and Henry are your side. It doesn't look like it. Oh, there you are. Oh. Okay, let's just talk to Henry first. That's more important to me. <laughs> okay. Kind of a wheel stick. cupcakes. Oh, it's not Veganuary anymore. I should remove that command. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, well, I do. But still. It's not too bad if it's still there. <laughs> okay, I should start talking to Henry already. But I wanted to check colorful view. Oh, it's not the British spelling. I'm confused. <laughs> no, it's okay. I spelled um, Life is Strange two colors. I always had to remind myself that that's not an O-U, it's just an O-R. Colorful. Yeah. <laughs> Because I, at school, I learned uh, stuff with British spelling. British English spelling. Um, there we go. Yes, I have that, that, that colorful wheel. Cool. Henry Unlimited, what? No, his pose. He was just posing all this time. Heck no, what? <laughs> Okay, and the rose print jacket. I just, I, I just have to check again if I, yep, I, I, yep, yep. I really have it. I remembered correctly. Woo. Okay. Anything else? I wrote down that recipe that I already have, and the song, the song. 
Stella Cupcakes, I want to see the cover. Hey. Ah, it's David, not Stella. Uh, oh, that looks so cute. The cover. Okay, cool. Snooze it! <laughs> Da, da, da. I'm up to talking to you. What? Do you always dress to the nines or is it a special occasion? <laughs> it's a secret would have been fun. I knew it. Folks with good taste can always spot other folks with good taste. Snooze it. <laughs> okay, Henry. <sighs> Triple insulated snow pants thing. You wouldn't like a cold bed. <laughs> Well, in real life, it's uh, Thursday, uh, Saturday, which is the opposite Tuesday, if you think about it. No, <laughs> oh, this guy looks seems like it's almost about to cry. Oh, mm, oh sorry. Guys, you. <laughs> Oh, rice pudding. <laughs> okay, Foxy is still at home, so yeah, that's it. Right, Foxy. Yep, okay. So, time to sell and go on a mystery island tour. Or sell, then check if Henry's doing better again. <laughs> and I gotta drink something. Stay hydrated. Him. Oh, and I can put. Oh, and I have to do stuff here. Okay. <laughs> the way I always sell the village of cherries. <laughs> bye bye. Nooklings. <laughs> Oh yeah, there we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh, the Nintendo Direct. I only kind of watched it on the side because I wasn't doing amazing. <laughs> uh, I guess I was just tired or something. I forgot. Hmm. Or maybe my diaphragm already heard of it there. I don't know. Wait, when was it? Day before yesterday, right? Uh, or was it longer ago? I can't remember. Um, but yeah, because I just said, here we go. <laughs> I can't do it as well. Too well. Here we go. Ah, that might have been better. I don't know. It's hard with headphones also. But okay. Um, yeah, because of that I was like, oh my gosh. The tracks. The new tracks. And I, I have Nintendo online. Nintendo Switch Online, because yay family, <laughs> and I have this game. Well, my sister has it, but yay family. <laughs> so I could theoretically play the new tracks. And I, I can't show you right now, but um, I've actually completed a bunch in single player, because it was really fun to me, uh, for me at some point in on vacation. I was just like, dang, I feel like Mario Kart. <laughs> so yeah, I kind of... But when does it come out? I kind of feel tempted. To play that on stream. Gosh, I just there are so many games to play. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC. Booster Course Pass DLC. Why is such a long name? Oh my gosh. Um What? Mario Kart 8 fans say DLC is a graphical download. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um Hey, okay. 48 courses already. Oh yeah, they come out step by step, right. I forgot about that. Uh, wait, 
why I just randomly look up stuff on stream by now? In the past I would have been worried about like not showing or talking enough or not continuing the game. Don't expect Mario Kart 9 anytime soon. Oh, March 18th. So exactly one month after Horizon. On the 22nd, four days. Nope, that doesn't fit in my schedule. So on the 22nd, uh, Ghostwire Tokyo comes out. No, wait, that does fit. No, doesn't fit into my schedule. But on the 19th or the 20th of both, I could actually, like right before Ghostwire, I could play some Mario Kart on stream if I wanted to. Oh gosh, I have to think about that. Oh my gosh, so much stuff to think about. <laughs> That was such a random accent. And um, wave one, Golden Dash and Ducky Cat Cups. Do I know the Shroom Bridge? I think I do. I think I really like that as a kid in another game. Sky Garden looks familiar too. I don't know Ninja Hideaway in Tokyo Blur. Harris Promenade, I might have seen that somewhere. Toad Circuit, I think I know that. Choco Mountain, I've seen that. Oh, Coconut Mall, I love co I don't know why, but I love Coconut Mall. Oh, we! Oh, it's, it's uh, underneath. Okay. Okay, I don't know Sky Garden. I don't know what tour is. Mario Tour? I don't know. Uh, but I know the 3DS ones and the Wii ones. Okay. Coconut Mall? Mall. <laughs> Not mall, mall. <laughs> yeah, it's a. It's a, uh, a Wii. Was it Mario Kart 8 that was on Wii? I think so. Or seven? I can't remember. Um, but yeah, it's just like, somehow coconut themed mall. Yes, mall. Mall. Ma, ma, oh ma. <laughs> I don't know how else to pronounce it. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, and I, I just, I don't know why I love that track. I don't know. I guess I just liked it as a kid. I had coconut and figured it was a food. Yeah, I, I got that. I got that. Where your brain went i was like i guess that's what your brain is doing and it makes sense <laughs> it totally makes sense <laughs> okay are we doing that mystery island tour now or i guess and we are swimming well again yes <laughs> snooze that's the last straw i'm getting a publicist what's up <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. Just randomly saying that. Because I'm really grateful, but I can't say it all the time, so I just randomly say it sometimes. <laughs> happy, happy, Kana. <laughs> what capitalist chores? <laughs> Hard? <laughs> I just randomly read words. Driving a car. What? I didn't read the answer. <laughs> it must be an excellent driver. I, I, I don't have a driver's license. <laughs> Let me know if you want to be to do a road trip road trip. From one end of the island to the other. <laughs> oh, I saw a clip of Animal Crossing where there was an option to go to work at the Dodo Airport thing. Yep. I still haven't done that. I I haven't played that DLC yet. Is that really an option? Yes it is. <laughs> it's the Happy Home Paradise. Uh, oh my gosh, there's a gift. It's the Happy Home Paradise DLC, and you can, uh, if you, in case you don't know, uh, you can design uh, houses there, vacation homes for characters, for special characters and villagers. <laughs> I will be right back, Henry. Don't sit down. Only the Japanese would make going to work part of a game in addition to certifications for jobs. It's honestly something that people quite love in Animal Crossing. People are actually sad that you can't. Um, job at um, the cafe. What? Yeah. Honestly, I like such things. It's a simulation game, so why not? <laughs> I mean, obviously, I like such things because otherwise, I wouldn't run around, talk to my villagers, uh, farm on an island. Oh, yeah. oh, you know what? That's true. <laughs> People do st stuff like Dino Dash. Yeah. Ouch. Here. Yeah. Oh. But you know, I guess. Wait, wait, out. <laughs> I've been sitting too long in the same position, so I had to change that. Also, I should take a break at some point because I've been streaming for three hours. But well, uh, don't want to work as a waiter in real life to it in this game. <laughs> yeah. 
<clears throat> I guess it's just kind of satisfying. And it's that... I think it's that basic thing of fulfilling tasks, which is just fun. Or like fulfilling tasks in an in a way that engages your brain, but not too much, and you also don't have annoying customer customers, unless it's like a horror game, like Night of the Consumers, I think. <laughs> Night of the Consumers, it's called, I think. There's a funny horror game with like, yeah. <laughs> you basically get overrun by customers and like creepy noises and I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think the working in the cafe thing is um, from Animal Crossing New Leaf, which I haven't played. The previous uh, installation, installation, is it? installment, <laughs> installation. The previous installment in the Animal Crossing series, and yeah, so I haven't played that, so I don't know what it's like. Yeah, but people really like that apparently. <laughs> And yeah, <clears throat> I guess if you want me to do stuff in a game, if you want me to enjoy working in a game, then it has to be, the thing itself has to be appealing, at least somehow. And I think the setting, like the setting has to be really appealing, like the kind of the personality of the game around it. And I guess that's why I do all, all the stuff in Animal Crossing, because I just like it. And it has that satisfying way, but in a chill way with the music. And I um, don't want to. Re oh, I've already read that out. I thought it was a new message. <laughs> Just exactly repeating how I read it out earlier. Like, don't want to work. Just kind of the same tone. <laughs> yeah. Brain. But I've seen that happen to other streamers, so yep, I understand it better now. <laughs> Let's talk. Oh, don't talk about cold. Henry, you will make me feel cold. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> the Afro-Victonite's helmet, the fencing mask. Okay, I'm basically unrecognizable in that, so what are you trying to say? <gasps> no! I'm just teasing, it's awesome, you've got great taste. I thought it would be like fancy, like high class. Haha, <laughs> fencing, fancy. Fancy is fence. Yep. Fencing, fencing. I, I've said those two words too much. <laughs> Fancy, fancy. <laughs> oh, my nose is itching. Ah. Hey, I find the shadow of my horns on his face funny. <laughs> Just that random shadow, uh, horns shadow. It looks kind of menacing, but he looks so happy and chill. <laughs> If you're feeling worn out, treat yourself to a little something special. Yes, you're right, Henry. That's so kind. <laughs> you don't have to wait for the weekend to crank the dubstep and eat. Bush. Boo. De Noel. What? What's Christmas? Okay, dubstep. <laughs> but what's. Boo. I don't know if I want to look that up. <laughs> Oh, sorry, yawning. Speedrun. Please, Henry, just invite me to your place. Or ask if you can come to my place. Please. Henry, that's, that's all I want. You can be free if you do that. <laughs> What a warm mug of lemonade, okay. Okay. Lucky! But just because I love him. Uh, I, I ate a whole, I ate a cho whole bar of chocolate bar last night. <laughs> but it's like healthy chocolate, so it's okay. I guess it was just a bit too much cacao. I don't know if... I don't know if that... Make me feel more awake or less awake. I don't know. But yeah, wasn't good, but I barely eat chocolate. And I, it, does, it didn't have sugar, so yeah. You eat dark chocolate? Yeah, basically. But it, I think it was like 85%. Is it 85% or 87%? It's like with hemp seeds <laughs> and um, blueberry, I think. Is it blueberries? Why do I always eat blueberries? Because I love blueberries. 
Uh, but it's it's wow, well, with no sugar with seeds, that's hardcore. <laughs> I don't eat anything with added sugar, so I'm just used to it. I think it has dates in it, or does it? No, I don't. Does it have like dates? I don't know. I don't know. Love Chalk. The brand is called Love Chalk. No advertisement. <laughs> um, jelly artichoke. <laughs> I will just say this because the lazy villagers are kind of crazy in the snack way. So yeah. That's why I said that. Oh my gosh, he's so good. I hadn't thought about that. You've opened a new door, new world of snack ideas. It's a gross world, and I want to rescue from it. But as long as you're happy, I'm happy for you. Oh, he doesn't like something. Okay, he finds it gross. That's surprising. <laughs> Jelly darty shots. Ugh. All right, but yeah, that's a oh, wow. <laughs> you know, that's my kind of chocolate. If you just just I know it's it's not easy. But if you stop eating sugar, like other stuff will just taste sweeter. Or sugary stuff will just taste way too sugary. <laughs> or sweet. <laughs> yeah, so I don't miss it. <laughs> Mama Panda, I have that. No, okay. You can sit here and Yeah, take yeah, okay. I will I will get you later. It's Flashies at the beach are weird, but okay. <laughs> but yeah, with all the ham seeds, I was like, okay, I wasn't doing well today. I can just, you know what? I, I'm okay with having eaten this whole bar of chocolate. <laughs> True. Nowadays, I eat a banana and it's so sweet. Yeah. I mean, it depends on the stage of the banana. Like, ripening? Is, is it like how ripe it is? But it can be so incredibly sweet. I just you know, like overripe bananas. I just I kind of can't stand when they are that sweet. <laughs> but bananas are nice, so I I won't throw them away. I would just I just use them in like orange bakes or whatever. Yeah, I can't stand overripe because it also gets soggy. Oh yeah. <laughs> but for for porridge bakes or like. Smoothies, it's great. Ripeness between when the sweet and firm. Yep, same. <laughs> Orange juice. You know, if we got the Star Fragments Island now, I'd be so grateful. But we didn't have a good fortune today, so I very much doubt it. Doesn't it have like a 1% chance in the game? I don't know. <laughs> I could have taken a break now, but no. Anime Crossing. Addiction. <laughs> it feels weird that this will be my second to last stream before... Horizon. Yeah. Mm -mm. Also, I'm kind of hyper. I told you it could happen that, like, if I get over the tired face, I could get hyper. What's Horizon? Horizon Forbidden West! <laughs> Did I just say Horizon? It might be up to it. can happen sometimes. <laughs> Horizon. Oh, I look so forward to it. It's the reason why I won't stream on Tuesday, but on Friday next week. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> oh, I like the. I, I always love the colors in, in uh, Benson modes. Ah. <laughs> How dare you ask that? <laughs> Someone's triggered. <laughs> Fair up. Okay, didn't I say I. Okay. <laughs> um, I think while I'm here, I can think about how much I will want to go for Mystery Island tours in the next days. In your days, is it some kind of game? Mmm, <laughs> mysterious. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, I guess it. It's that thing where you press buttons and you have like stuff on a screen. 
And I think it comes out of one of those little boxes. Okay, not little. They are, they are pretty big by now. But yeah. I guess. Like, no idea about it. <laughs> and eventually they might also come onto those other boxes. But who knows? I guess. Because money. <laughs> but I think it's the sequel to Zero Dawn. Yes! <laughs> I was just making jokes here. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep, yep. I am so confused whether you actually don't know that. No no shame there. But I'm confused. <laughs> Man, I feel old. Oh no. <laughs> but yeah, it's crazy. I, I can still remember like the first trailer for Horizon Zero Dawn. I am <laughs> so I feel that a bit. I was like, how old was I back then? It came out in 2016, but when came out the first trailer? 2014? 2015? I actually didn't know what it was for real. Oh, <laughs> thank you for clarifying. But yeah, it's coming out on the 18th of February, and I'm gonna stream Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because Friday is the 18th, so I'm switching my Tuesday stream with my Friday work day so I work on Tuesday and stream on Friday and I'm just gonna go hardcore at it <laughs> yeah I'm just going to oh nice yes I'm just going to stream on Friday Saturday Sunday horizon oops purpose and there was also a hiccup <clears throat> um, but yeah and but only for next week. The, the week after that I will go to Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday streams. Yep. <sighs> and I just can't keep myself from hitting those rocks. Not gonna lie, I watched a playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn because of the whole environmental angle. Yes, it looks so that was interesting. Oh yes, I love that. I was like, oh, it's so creative. Because it came out... I think it came out before I went vegan. Okay. Hey, how fitting. Maybe it subconsciously influenced me, inspired, whatever. I have to look up when Horizon came out. Oh, I see what all. And I might have to take a break. Horizon. Um, it came out February. Oh, it came out in 2017, but that says initial release date here. It didn't come out in 2016. Eh. Um, 2017. Oh, I guess I saw the demo or the trailer in 2016. Oh, okay. 2017, February. Hey! 28th of February. Okay. So it came out shortly after I went vegan. <laughs> I might play them two one day. I think in the fact that, yes, it's so good. And the story is so emotional, also. And it's so. Beautiful. The character design, every like the world design is also so creative. Like, you know, like the like dystopian stuff or like machine and nature stuff or like kind of going back to nature. Whatever those things have been done, but Horizon is so creative somehow. So it's it felt so fresh and new, and it still does. And back when it came out, the graphics were like so outstanding. It was like, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Yeah, I'm freaking out a bit. <laughs> Oh. But yeah, I when I was watching the display, I think yeah, I think it strengthened my newfound views or like what I've learned about veganism and why I went, like the reasons I went vegan, like what I learned there, and I think that really supported me. And I was like, oh yes, riding machines much better than riding animals, because you know you don't have to enslave them. <laughs> Unless you go to lengths of machines gaining consciousness. <gasps> yeah, it takes an angle of like post-naturalistic human environment, yes. And like, oh, it's so cool. And also, Ca Carrie and Moss is in Horizon Forbidden West, right? So if you like her, yay! <laughs> when we build methods to control weather and terraforming and ecology, yep. <laughs> Oh, I love it so much, and I'm so excited for how how the story will continue. Both kind of because it's like you find out about stuff in the past and in the present now, like the present, which is our future basically. 
like the future, our future in the games universe. <laughs> Um, so you find out about stuff in like multiple timelines and it's connected and it's so cool. And there's also like Greek mythology stuff there because you have like uh, names of uh, Greek gods and beings and I love Greek mythology so that they also put that in there. It was like amazing for me. Hephaestus <laughs> Gaia and so on. Yes. Wait, how do you say Hephaestus? He Hephaestus, I think. I think you say Hephaestus, right? Because in what I've learned in Germany and like in, in German and in Greek slash Latin, um, I guess in the Latin version, although Latin he's, I think he's called Vul Vulcano or something in, in Roman mythology. I don't know, but the, the spelling I've learned, which is a pronunciation that I've learned, which is probably closer to the original than the English one, but I'm not sure. But yeah, I think so, is uh, Hephaestus. So yeah, I, I just, yeah. With Persephone and Hades and Zeus, I, I'm more used to saying the English names by now. But with some... And you went full Greek, if I <laughs> Yeah. Um, but with some, like saying Achilles. Achilles. <laughs> Achilles, yeah. It's funny, uh, uh, Achilles. <laughs> Wait, you say Achilles, right? Achilles? How do you say... I've never thought about that. How do you say that in English? I just keep saying Achilles in my brain. Achilles. <laughs> Achilles. <laughs> Achilles. <laughs> in English it's a... Achilles, okay? Achilles. Uh, Achilles? Oh gosh. Achilles, yeah. Ah. Oh, that sounds cool actually. Achilles. Yeah. But yeah, we... Yeah, Achilles. <laughs> Oh, Prometheus. <laughs> and you say Prometheus. It's like in English, funnily, for a change, things get longer. Because normally, like, German has, like, such long and complicated sentences often. And in English, you can say things with, like, much fewer words compared to German. And then, when it comes to Greek mythology, you just go from... Zeus to Zeus. Okay, wait, Zeus is the same length. Um, Prometheus? Prometheus? It's it, okay, it just kind of sounds longer. It's not actually longer. I still can't say, can't say, uh, Poseidon? 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 How do you say Poseidon in English? In English, gosh, not English. No. It's so hard to mix languages. <laughs> Poseidon? Poseidon? <laughs> Poseidon. Ah, Poseidon. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah. Wait, that's the same. Basically, Poseidon. It's basically the same. Okay. Poseidon. Poseidon. No, I didn't want to get that up. Okay, maybe I can sell it. <laughs> Gosh, my brain is so all over the place. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you went for <laughs> The Hades and you hard Hades. 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 <laughs> I guess it just feels like the names get more pronounced. Persephone. Persephone. Demeter. Demeter? Okay, that's kind of the same. <laughs> if I say those things out loud, I realize that I'm just. My brain is just. Dang it. My brain is just more used to the German names. Or Latin ones. Latin, Greek, whatever. Um, yeah, English is weird like that. <laughs> I love English though. Um, but yeah, the more I realize that my brain is just more used to the German stuff, and thus my brain just thinks weird things about. thinks weird things about the English names. And I'm just. I guess I'm just trying to. Tell my brain like it's okay. It's, it's just another language. It's the same thing, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, like Kirke. How do you Kirke? Cersei? Do you say Cersei? Like like Cersei in, in Game of Thrones? Because we say either Cersei or Kirke. Cersei. Kirke. I'm even reading. That 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 uh, it's a Cersei Kirke it's a book. Yeah, you said it accurately for Cersei. Okay, okay. <laughs> but 
Dang. So much education with my tired brain. It's just it's a weird combo, but it's fun. <laughs> See, I just ask, uh, I, I just start asking random stuff, which is quite fun. Can I sell these? Do they sell well? Or should I rather fill my inventory with other stuff? I don't know. <sighs> Sunday, I feel like noodles with maybe broccoli and cranberries and like something, a sauce with like lemon juice in it. What, what is this? My brain just makes up dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Random bum 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 bum. Hey, but seriously, thank you so much. It's this is fun. When I stream, I can just ask a bunch of random things. <laughs> just ask them into the world, you know, put questions out onto the world. <laughs> Might not always get answers or accurate answers, but it's. Like, I think I, I'm getting accurate answers here, but, you know, someone could say something wrong, but still. Why did I even say that? Why did I point that out? I don't know. Um, but still, I'm getting answers somehow, or I'm just talking about stuff. <laughs> yeah, my bra brain is really random today. But it actually, I think it helps with anxiety. It's just, my brain just doesn't have as, have as much energy to focus on everything, and it's just like, ah, who cares, just talk. <laughs> Orange powder cake. <laughs> Gosh, I have to take a break soon. Oh, and I'm drinking orange juice, so it actually fits the orange powder cake. Orange powder cake. Not cake, cake. <laughs> oh, is that really the recipe? Why? Why does it not like pound cake? Is pound cake something bad? Is that really the recipe for pound cake? Yes, no. <laughs> pound that cake. <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe it's seen as an like body shaming and salt, I don't know. I don't even know what pound cake is exactly. I might know, but I'm not sure. I'm just yeah, I don't know. And I have to take a break, so I will just leave you with this because the music is kind of nice in the screen. <laughs> um and thank you so very much for watching seriously seriously i mean it i'm just ah oh, i'm so grateful this makes me so happy i love streaming and i will be right back hello everyone that was a weird hello <laughs> hello and i am back and i thank you for wishing me uh, a chill break by the way um yes i did unmute myself okay um and i also Pet to pet Zali, my super cute companion doggo. And I took a picture of her because she was lying so weirdly. <laughs> so cute. Um, oh, there are so many. Oh, oh, reactions. Oh, Ferriman. Oh, so much love. <laughs> Thank you for all the reactions. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, in my Discord, there's there's a there's a. a doggo category and there's a pick pick spam channel and here you go <laughs> if you're uh, you can I, I hope do i have this command properly set up discord <laughs> nope that's not an exclamation mark making actual pound cake right now by the way what <laughs> nice <laughs> gg <laughs> but yeah oh my discord oh my gosh just what is Sally doing there? She's never really been lying around like that. Oh, A heart. She got two hearts already. <laughs> so sweet. Oh, my microphone's a bit close. Um, but yeah, um, my my family told me that she had farted, so she had to move. <laughs> I guess she just farted while she was sleepy, and then she got up and lay down there. <laughs> what is she doing with her legs? With her high legs? I was, I was, uh, I, I came into the living room, was like, what is that? <laughs> and then I, um, went to her and said, like, cuddles in German, so, like, cushion. And that's what I do when I ask her, like, I, I kind of taught her that that means that I want to pet her. 
So I basically ask her by now. If she lies her head down and she wants to sleep or something. Or I don't know. I guess if she goes away then she wants to do something else. Or just doesn't want cuddles. I don't know. But if she lifts her leg or wags her tail. Then she wants cuddles. <laughs> yeah and she lifted her leg. And that was quite funny. Because <laughs> she like with her hind legs like that. And she also immediately put her, um, her upper uh, front leg. She immediately put that on my arm. Just like. Dang, <laughs> like she, she, I don't know, she, she hung it into my arm, basically. <laughs> hung, hung, it, hung, hung it into my arm, like her leg, and like locked with my arm, so I could pet her uh, under her hind leg, <laughs> yeah, on her belly. Yeah, that, she's cute. She definitely shows when she when she wants those cuddles. <laughs> I wish I could. Oh, can I? No, that might take too long right now. I don't want to open Discord and then it loads and yeah. But I, I could show you on screen, but yeah. <laughs> I don't want stuff to load. Um, okay, Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing. Yes, I'm on the village island. Okay, yeah, you know what? Toilet thoughts. <laughs> Bathroom thoughts. I just remembered. Oh, and by the way, enjoy the pound cake and the baking. Um... Yeah, I just remembered that I can play ads now. I totally forgot about that. If I play ads when I'm on a break, then nobody's missing anything. And then people who come, who join the stream in the next half hour, won't have to see an ad. And I totally forgot about that. I, I still have to get used to that stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely want to try and remember that. <laughs> I was like, oh, right, I'm not used to this stuff. <laughs> Wait, have I... I fit that block, okay. Why am I? Yeah, okay. Uh, so yeah. True, true, please. <laughs> I feel like not stuffing my pockets as much as possible anymore. Because it takes up time, you know. And, but it gives me bells. But on the other hand, I... Hmm. Ooh, I haven't. Ooh, I haven't been up there yet. <laughs> yeah, I guess it would kind of, somewhat at least, cut down on the mystery item tour usage. How do I say that? I I probably will still go for mystery island tours every day, but I won't use them to the to the, to the full extent anymore. If if you get what I mean. Yeah, I just won't try to do everything as like efficiently as possible on the island, I guess. Like get as much loot and at the same time try to get like Nukma's plus points. I'm, I'm nah. It doesn't have to be anymore. I, I just, you know, I can chill a bit. <laughs> I mean, it never had to be. I didn't have to force myself to do that stuff. I, I liked it and I still like it, but by now I just have a bit different priorities, I guess. No, I just want a Star Fragment Island, and I've looted a bunch of these mystery islands, so yeah, I don't have to loot all of them as much anymore. Okay, I think I've hit that rock like that, yeah. See, my pockets are full, I can sell stuff, I didn't do anything extra, I, I can just go. <laughs> yes! My booty! <laughs> Sounds so weird. Okay. By the way, I would stream for like one more hour. Mm. <laughs> Loud drinking, sorry. I'm not sorry, it's normal. <laughs> Remember, brain, it's okay. You are allowed to exist. <laughs> okay, I guess I will, if I can, I will try talking to Foxy and Henry. And then travel to the night. So we can check if anything's going on there. But I think Wisp was. Yeah, Wisp was here yesterday in game on my island, so I don't think he's coming again. And there are no, and there are no shooting stars, so. We shouldn't have a visit that night, so I shouldn't have to check, but. Hmm. Just to be safe, I still would. <laughs> Word, word. 
It's funny, on my activity feed I just see followers with M and P. Pixelated beard, beard bard. <laughs> Pixelated bard P. Moonbeer, Moonberry M. Popsicles P. Pokemon dog M. P. <laughs> what happens if I scroll down further? Okay, then comes N. But it still kind of fits like Elam and, and no P. There are also lots of O's in there. And L, though, it's over. <laughs> okay. I can't pick up the giant clam and the mama bear, but I want to keep the giant clam. I could drop the sticks, you know, the branches. <laughs> um, so this stuff is for sale. Wait, that's not how it works. Why did I sort my inventory completely wrong? <laughs> uh, this is what I keep. Well, and that's okay. Um, so all of this will be sold. I keep these. No, oh, I will sell this. Okay. Um, and keep these. Why am I hearing weird noises? Wait a sec. That's a boat! Dang. I never listened so closely next to the boat. I just turned up the volume very much for myself. It just it kind of creaks like it does. Oh my gosh, that was creepy for a bit. Especially because I hear it on my right ear and the boat is on the left. I just, I had to think there for a sec. <laughs> yeah, wow, this is so weird. Um, but maybe... No. For a sec I was thinking, like, maybe the game is incredibly smart and if I stand like this then I hear it on my right ear, but no. Because <laughs> now I don't hear it on my left ear, I still hear it on my right ear. That would have been amazing, but I feel like I would have noticed that very much. <laughs> and I guess it would be confusing to just turn around and suddenly hear stuff the other way around. That No, why would you do that? <laughs> In a third person game. Hmm. Oh, hiccup, sorry. I'm not sorry, but yeah. <clears throat> Might have been a weird noise. <clears throat> That's too loud. Okay, I turned it down for myself, but I mean. I, I barely ever touch my audio setup if no one s says anything in the chat because I, I feel like then it's good if nobody says anything. If I've checked it and, uh, and nobody says anything, then I will leave it. I won't touch it because <laughs> I don't want to mess up the settings. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Bye bye, giant clam. I will find you at some point. If not, I have a bunch. I am grateful for every single one. So, oh, Cat, you will, you will be able to leave soon. You will have new adventures because I've got your photo. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> that sounded a bit weird. Bridge duty. Wait, <laughs> I have to try this. I never thought about what might happen here. No! No, Judy, no! No! <laughs> Cute. Ah, that I'm following. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Why? Why do I do this? <laughs> Creative power. Uh, Put something away. La, la, la. What is going on? <laughs> Mm, do I have enough sugar and sugar cane? Yeah, sugar cane sounds a bit weird. Oh, I would say I have enough. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we can sell the rest and bury the gyroid. And I need a new shovel. Why not do that immediately? Except if I have to craft it, then I might not do it, do it immediately. Oh wait, <laughs> wrong direction. Boy, I don't have to craft it. Nice. Noise, noise. Oh, 
I look forward to getting the other gold tools, honestly. But I don't know where to get them from. I would probably need a better island. <laughs> I never really thought about those. And I also have no idea where I got the golden slingshot recipe from. Uh, yes, spurring the gyro, that's what I wanted. Whee! Family keeps growing. Welcome to the family. <laughs> Who made that song? Was that Miracle of Sun? Oh, daddy, there's a guest in the basement. Oh, daddy, can't you see? <laughs> that sounds weird when I sing. I mean, definitely, first off, it doesn't sound good because I can't professionally sing. But also the daddy part. <laughs> Wait, I have to check if that's Miracle of Sound, because I'm not sure right now for some reason. Uh, miracle of Sound. Oh, daddy. <laughs> no. There's a in the bed. But welcome. Welcome to the family, yep. Ah, Resident Evil, it was so good. I kind of wish I could have played it myself. But I'm too scared. But I really like Resident Evil 7. Welcome to the family. Even though I know it now, I don't know it. I still know some parts pretty well. But I don't know if I... Would it stress me out too much? I don't know. I don't know if I... I now that I know it, I don't know if I would be brave enough to play. But on the other hand, I wanted to play, play Resident Evil Village. And I still kind of do. Because I, 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 I just like the Resident Evil world. And it's also so... Funnily crazy, at least what I've seen from Resident Evil 7. Oh wait, I've also watched a Resident Evil anime. A Resident Evil anime. So I know a bit more about it by now, right? Wait. Wait, Resident Evil is Raccoon City, right? Oh gosh, my brain. I'm not too deep into Resident Evil, I just know random bits and pieces. <laughs> yeah, and my, my first contact with... Wait. Yeah, it was Resident Evil, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I couldn't see. Uh, hi, just a quick update. I finally made it to the grocery store. Woo, but I'm just sitting in a parking lot for now. Just sitting in your vehicle doing nothing can be very therapeutic. I highly recommend it. Okay, data. Oh, nice. If, if you like it, then okay. But you can do it. Bye bye, and thank you so much for checking in. <laughs> One hour of streaming left. <laughs> but hey, seriously, all the best, and thank you so much for, for being so active here. <laughs> it's so nice. But no pressure. <laughs> um, 11 p.m. in real life. <laughs> and I think 2 p.m. in the game? Yes. <gasps> I'll get that giant. Okay, you sat down over here now. Okay. First she sits at the beach and then she sits in the snow. <laughs> What a what a change of scenery. <laughs> I wonder is it colder to sit in the snow or at the beach when it's snowing? Or is it equally cold? Or you know Wait, shouldn't this shouldn't the snow also lie on the beach then? Or if you put the snow away? But does sand be is sand or snow cold? <laughs> this is such a weird question, I think. <laughs> Okay. But yeah, why was I? Yep, I, I still kind of want to play Resident Evil Village just because I, I like the lore and it's creative and this. I feel like if it were more story focused, then I would be definitely like, yes. But it's still. If it's too scary, then it's hard for me to play because I, yeah. I have to be in the right mood for scary, you know? And I, like the medium for example, that was a bit of a struggle for me. But it was okay. It wasn't the scariest game ever, so yeah. But I don't think I could ever play Outlast, but just because it's like... Oh, the camera thing, it's so scary. <laughs> yeah. And like also... I think first person and like intense psychological horror, that's just no way I can't play that. I love such let's plays, but... Oh first person or maybe like super old graphics maybe that's no that, that's creepy <laughs> yeah and there are some things I, I just I have a hard time dealing with like um, 
in the medium I freaked out a bit <laughs> when I got followed um, like hunted um, yeah that that wasn't cool that just getting hunted just very much stresses me out I just hate that that's one of the scariest things for me at least in video games Ooh. in movies by now it's actually more of like the psychological or real life horrors yeah if it's fictional, then I am pretty okay with it by now. Yeah. <laughs> or I just enjoy the thrill. And after some time, I, 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 can, I can be okay with it. But with like real life horrors, it's just, it's hard to chill with it. <laughs> to, to be like, okay, it's just, you know, it's just a movie. <laughs> okay. Um, yep, I was just like, how did I get to horror? And then my brain was like, welcome to the family. <laughs> Seriously, if you don't know Miracle of Sound, highly recommend. Especially when you really like the game. It's just cool to check out basically in a fitting song. This song. What's my favorite Miracle of Sound song? Oh, Ode to Fury. And because God of War. And what's the other one? Many hours of What's the oh why do I why do I I don't I know my titles today, my song titles today? Oh oh to Fury is just the best for me. Not because I love God of War, no, it's not my favorite game at all. <laughs> no, of course I love it. Oh my gosh, there hopefully will be a God of War Ragnarok song and I hope I would love it. Um, a Father's Arms, yes, I wasn't sure. I was like, something with arms and father. <laughs> a Father's Arms and... which one is older? Wait, I hope it won't play audio, otherwise it would be bad. Get away, Ed. Oh, 2nd of August and the other is May. Okay, so a father's arms is uh, older. Okay. I love God of War so much. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And it's cool because in my brain, the excitement for Horizon kind of helps with the weight and excitement for God of War because they are they are kind of connected for me somehow because they those two games were like my greater exposure to PlayStation stuff. It's, it's, it basically marked my path to PlayStation, <laughs> to my first PlayStation, because um, I, yeah, I think I think Horizon Zero Dawn was the last Let's Play I watched where I was like, oh, I will never have a PlayStation. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I was I was just like I was sad I couldn't play the PlayStation games and basically like not even one and a half years later I was like, okay, I'm buying myself a PlayStation and I'm gonna get God of War. <laughs> The, the God of... I think I think when I saw a God of War demo, I was just like, yep, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> ah, my feels. Oh gosh, I love it. Oh. Yeah, so with Horizon, it was really like, dang, PlayStation stuff is so good by now and I love it so much. And I am kind of old enough by now to be like, okay, because I was... I was 16 years old. Oh, I guess that's why I keep thinking 2016. Yeah, I was 16 years old when Horizon Zero Dawn came out and I was like, yeah, I'm getting more adult. And then I was nearly 18 when God of War came out and I was like, yes, I'm gonna get a PlayStation. <laughs> I guess my love for that game was just so strong from the beginning on. <laughs> that sounds weird. But yeah, I guess my love for this game was so strong from the beginning on that I was like, yes, I'm gonna get a PlayStation. <laughs> And that's how they get you. <laughs> uh, PlayStation be like Tom Nook and say, give me all your bells. <laughs> no. <clears throat> it's, yeah, it, it's, you know, it's great work. So, yeah, of course, I wouldn't expect it for free. But I guess you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, yes, I want to sell. But again, I'm speaking quite randomly today and I'm being emotional. <laughs> Oh, and it's fun. <laughs> but if I seriously at some point say bullshit, although even when I'm so random, I still think about my words a lot. Um, yeah, if I so if I regardless uh, say bullshit somehow at some point, yeah, don't be afraid to ask for clarification about some things or yeah, 
just, you know, point something out and then we can talk about it. <laughs> But of course, uh, all in a respectful manner. <laughs> and appropriate. Like, appropriate in the sense of... Um, when I stream and super focus on something and stumble upon my words weirdly, and it's not too big of a deal, then let me play the story stuff first and then I can get back to you. <laughs> you know, don't expect crazy things or that I read your message in a millisecond or something. <laughs> Yeah, but I guess uh, everyone who's here knows that, but yeah, <laughs> I'm just saying stuff. I just got kind of so confused by the Nogmas because it's been a while since I've got Nogmas. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, cool. I have to put this in into my inventory. <clears throat> and then I will talk to my villagers. Who was it? Fuxia Henry? Yes, Fuxia Henry. You're not Henry. On, uh, and, and yeah, <laughs> on not. And not Foxy. Oh, an orange umbrella. Cute. Snow, snow, snow. Gosh, I'm so all over the place. Why am I so energetic? Oh, because I didn't sleep much and I, oh, I'm over the tired face. <laughs> I'm beyond the tired face. Oh, you know what? I saw that this is Martha went live, so, so I guess we're going to braid Martha later again. Super lovely fellow stream being, so yeah. <laughs> Doing so many charity streams, I oh my gosh, so much respect. <laughs> so much love for that. <laughs> okay. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> oh, Henry! <clears throat> that was too high pitched, what the heck. Oh, Henry! <laughs> Yes, I'm here. I have to talk to you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what tightest clothes are you on? <laughs> oh, Henry. But <laughs> 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 oh. I said that audio. <laughs> Oh, I just your eyes sounds nice. <laughs> the guitar virtuals by next week. Oh no, wait, what's wrong with cake? Automod, what's wrong with cake? This pound cake seems more like really sweet pancake mixed in cake. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh no, I hope it works out. <laughs> What's wrong with cake? Is it too close to German Kacke? I don't know. <laughs> Kacke. Oh. <laughs> but you know, once I also wrote... Um, the German word for yes is ja. And they are like... Uh, colloquial versions for for yes and no <laughs> whack <laughs> what <laughs> uh, maybe i should add orange <laughs> let's go <laughs> um so they are like colloquial versions of yes uh, aka yeah and one of them is yap and kind of an insult for japanese people like J J japan J japanese yeah, Japanese people in German are called Japaner, because Japan in German is Japan. And so like a colloquial version of Ja is Jap. And that's only one letter away from kind of an insult for Japanese people in German. And once I think Automod or Moveword or whatever caught that in a stream I was moderate moderating in. And at first I was so confused, but then someone was like, yeah, maybe it's too close to... Uh... I'm gonna say this for educational reasons. Or should I? Maybe I shouldn't say it. <laughs> if you know it, you know it. If you're not German, why why should you know it? I don't know how bad the word is. I think it's not cool. No. Because <laughs> I, I think as a kid I wasn't too aware about how it's insulting or like racist. I don't know. Or maybe I knew. I don't know. I have actually no idea why I know that word to begin with. But yeah, it's just like... Yeah. It's just... Yep, the colloquial 
no, yep, the colloquial yes in German is two letters away, or three if it's plural, from that insulting version, yeah. <sighs> Words. I can see the historical context, huh? Okay. Yeah, makes sense, because, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of racism, ev racism everywhere around the world, but yeah. Germany and Japan had some uh, connections. <laughs> Especially, con yep, considering World War II German relations to the Sino Japanese conflict. My history knowledge is partially limited. <laughs> no, my history knowledge, uh, of course, isn't complete because there's a lot of history. But yeah, I knew that Japan and uh, Germany had some uh, connections and stuff going on around World War II. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, so I was like, what? They, they, ca they, Automod catches a colloquial? Yes? And then I was like, oh, okay, because of that, but well, it's quite far away, but okay. <laughs> or maybe it's something English I didn't understand, I don't know. I think it's, I think it's because of the German, because it was in a German chat, so yeah. And the German stream, most the German stream. Okay, Henry. Well, thank you for sharing. See, we're learning so much, uh, everyone here. <laughs> Except if you already knew all that stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot. We have languages. We have we have cake. We have moderation stuff. We have history. We've got Animal Crossing and other gaming stuff. L lots of knowledge. <laughs> Aww. Why don't you play a card game with me now? <laughs> Okay. Okay, Foxy is still at home, so we could time travel. Ooh, simple vanity. I'm an American born Chinese, so my do oh yeah, I forgot about that, sorry. <laughs> I, I mean sorry that I keep forgetting. <laughs> Why brain? Um but yeah, people I explained it a bunch of times already, I sometimes have issues remembering stuff. Um, I'm an American born Chinese, so my domain of history pertains to East Asian and ancient Greek Roman history. Mm -hmm. Like you would be in Greek Roman and Western Europe, I imagine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> oh, there's so much history. It's crazy. Like, there are some still pretty present things in Europe or around Europe. And I just have no idea about that. We never got to even touching that in history. Also, I'm working this better and my muscles are actually getting a pump. I can see why making grandmas are thick. <laughs> Yay! Strictly a non-North American history, of course. Uh... What? Sorry, I don't get the context. But yeah, um, I think there's where like, uh, I don't even, is it called Bosnia in English? Like stuff around that country and uh, I don't know what the other one is called in English, Albania or something, I don't know, Albania. Um, I mean that's my knowledge outside North American history, ah, okay, ah, okay, yeah, yeah, makes sense, sorry. <laughs> my brain just kind of automatically added that earlier. Yeah. Um, simple vanity. But yeah, those, like, conflicts around it with Bosnia, and I've also, I think there's, like, it has to do with, like, religious stuff, I don't know. But it's still very, no, not very, I guess, I don't know. It's still present in those countries. And in kindergarten and in elementary school, I, I, I went to school with people who, uh, whose parents were from that area from those country countries oh gosh my language um uh, and yeah i just regardless of that connection kind of i think i've heard a bit about stuff when i was visiting them and their families as a kid but outside of that i have seriously no no idea about those conflicts i have no idea what they are about but they aren't they weren't too long ago <laughs> Like, I imagine you probably know way more about, like, Germanic history than most. Yeah, mostly I just know stuff about World War One and Two. 
Like in fifth grade, or did we start in sixth? Oops, did we start in fifth or sixth grade? I think in fourth grade we did a tiny bit of like third and fourth maybe, or fourth grade. I don't know. Um, we did like uh, medieval stuff. Fifth grade, I think we did some Egyptian and like ancient Greece, Roman stuff. But like the really cool stuff was only a bit in fifth grade, so like Egyptian and like Greece stuff. <laughs> yeah, that was unfortunate for me because I was like, oh, Egyptian, e e Egyptian, yeah, Egyptian stuff, and it was only basically in fifth grade, and I think maybe a tiny bit in sixth grade. But yeah, then we started working our way from like medieval times. Or did we also have ancient times? Oh yeah, maybe some ancient stuff, I don't know, but mostly medieval stuff in the early stages. And then from, no, in the 6th grade, 5th, 6th grade was like medieval stuff, also 7th grade. But I think in 7th or 8th, maybe in late 7th, 7th grade, late 7th grade, I think we started like World War 1 and 2, like the Nazi stuff, how all that happened. And then every year from then on, we, we had a bunch, like more and more about Nazi times. And I'm grateful that I learned so much about it. But I'm also like, like there's so much other stuff I have zero idea about. Yeah, it's important though, so yeah. I don't even remember anything from 5th and 6th grade. <laughs> I just remember we also went to a, like, kind of a tiny museum with like, with like Egyptian stuff and I just remember that so well because I love Egyptian mythology as well. Maybe we in the US learned about MLK during that then, in time. Ah, oh, okay. I see that stuff I had in English class. I learned about uh, British and American stuff in English class. Which is very cool, I think. Oh, Henry! <laughs> so yeah, like, um... Is it called Wounded Knee? I'm so sorry if I'm butchering stuff. Oh yeah, Darwin and Dinosaurs. Oh, Dinosaurs! Yeah, that was in fifth grade, yeah. Or in elementary school for me, I don't know. Oh, Dinosaurs! <laughs> Although I had that in ge Geography, I think. Dinosaur stuff was in geography. And we also had some stuff in social studies. Uh, like also medieval stuff, how... Like... What farmers... Uh, uh, earn? F farmers... Uh, oh! <laughs> like st how stuff would develop with like farmers owing... Rulers stuff and so on. That We would have that in, in social studies, I think. Or like partially we would have a mix of social studies and history because we would have the same teacher in those subjects yeah oh my gosh so school oh i don't know i, I, can't, I when i think about it like this i can't believe how much stuff was stuffed into my head like wow uh, <laughs> again no <gasps> i'm so sorry <laughs> but that could make a good sound um, but yeah, is it called like Battle at Wounded Knee or Massacre at Wounded Knee? I don't know. Because I had that in English class in seventh grade or so. Like we learned a, a, a bunch about, not a bunch, but yeah, we we learned enough to understand shitty things about America, <laughs> um, about like. Uh, What's it called? Set settlers? Uh, settle? Yeah, whatever. Um, I don't know the precise term right now. But like how basically Europeans... Yes, Europeans. Um, I just I was just thinking about was it only Europeans? Yes, it was only Europeans if I remember correctly. Yes. Uh, Spanish, Portuguese, French, German, British. Yeah. And Irish, also Irish people also landed in the US. Um, it's one of the more famous ones, yeah. Ah, thank you. Because I can just roughly remember that because... Like what I most remember about that is that most people would, or not most, many people would mispronounce wounded and would say like bounded or something. Yeah. And I had a um, British English teacher back then. So he would also say, always say like, how do you pronounce that wounded? <laughs> yeah. He was he was from London, I think. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, the bad guys really, yep, true. Westward expansion is generally pulled under the concept of manifest destiny. Huh. Do I understand that correctly? If so, then, huh? Oh, why? <laughs> manifest destiny. <laughs> Here's the big one. But yeah, yeah, the West. If we if we just want to call it the West, but yeah, I I think I even thought about that today. Uh, that like so much shit just comes from Europe. Oh, ah, right. I was thinking what I was thinking about today was like, how much can you trace back stuff to Europeans? Because you know, like Nazi tendencies can obviously be traced back to Ger German stuff and so on. German, maybe also Italian. Like Nazi stuff in uh, the US can be traced back to Germans. I wonder if you could make some like connections between like what we have uh, in the UK with like Brexit and so on, and like how generally the UK like what they are like people are like there generally. That's kind of hard to say, but like with the crown and so on with that story there, yeah, and like religious stuff. I don't know. And then French people like France is uh, France. <laughs> Oh, um, it's quite known for like rebellious stuff. Maybe you can also tie that to like, isn't Canada, doesn't Canada have, uh, or did have, didn't have Canada quite some weird issue with like uh, protests and so on? Because that seemed quite like French rebellious to me, you know? <laughs> but with Spanish people, I don't really know. But also how, I don't know. Oh gosh, how did that go? I just Boston Tea Party, I remember that stuff. But like, I mean, Spanish Portuguese people also went to the US. I, I don't even know. Like, what would you even call? Is it, can you legitimately call the, those continents like North and South America? What, what do indigenous people call them? Do they have a name for the, for the continent? I don't know. But that's just like an interesting, like, a thought that would interest me, <laughs> I just said, yeah. Um, yeah, but like how, what, what do we see of like Spanish uh, people there? Besides like the others? Okay. Um, generally the Native Americans were legally allowed land where the hunt on reason was reasonable, okay. Hence, American policy sought to eventually massacre tens of millions of people to reject native claim to land. Oh my gosh, I think I might have even heard about that. Oh yeah, the massacre is one of the well-known examples of the demise of native resistance. Oh, yeah. uh, this topic seriously upsets me so much. Sometimes I'm not sure what upsets me more. Nazi times or all that stuff. <laughs> I mean, kind of similar in, in Australia, you know. At least Austrians benefit from everyone thinking it's lost a German. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's funny, Perriman High Five. It's actually a good question, thank you. Uh, but I, I just, you know what, I really... I mean, I try to, like... Because I in Germany I really don't have any connections to, like... Indigenous people struggles issues stories whatever but i i don't know what to how to explain this correct exact uh, exactly that's why i said whatever but i just i kind of wish i could like do more in that direction i try to do some like uh, online stuff wait that's where you come in where should i drive uh stay <laughs> no not on the coast no, not the coast. stay local <laughs> i don't know I don't know. Um, but yeah, I try to do like stuff online and learn stuff online. Uh, like uh, look up organizations and also like check out uh, uh, indigenous uh, vegan activists, what they say and so on, so I don't like appropriate the culture or whatever or say wrong things. Um, like some people do when they debate with vegans, like saying like like yeah, appropriating indigenous culture. That's oh, that's so respectful, <laughs> disrespectful, yeah. Um, and also with like 
stuff in Australia because I follow collective fashion justice and I really like their content so I don't care that they are in Australia and like care, like do obviously do more about Australian issues uh, but like with like how how uh, sheep farming wool, wool farming um, it takes away so much from indigenous land and it just destroys the nature there obviously and damages the environment and so on so that's also a connection um but yeah i just honestly i don't want to talk too much about just stuff i think i know or i do know because <laughs> i the like my thing my point is more like i would like to have more like a proper connection there i don't know like a little bit you know i don't know it's hard to explain so I guess ultimately so I can understand better in a way. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Easy peasy. I don't know how to explain this exactly, but yeah. I hope I'm not saying anything uh, weird or insulting or whatever. Yeah. Um Wow, oh, so much talking today. Um But yeah, ultimately what I wanted to say earlier, I wish, because I, um, collective fashion justice, for example, in Australia, uh, what's it called? There's this hashtag and like this cause to like give back. It's cake and actually don't have to be blooded native to read and learn about it. <laughs> uh, or to find out on justice. Okay, yeah, thank you. That's just, that's where anxiety comes in. <laughs> I'm just like, gosh, what a, but the, <laughs> yeah, but thank you. Um, yeah, this is, is it called payback or pay the price or something? I don't know. But like, there's this cause to give back to indigenous uh, communities. Yep, that's what I was looking for. Um, and yeah, just I just find that so good. I know it's long ago. And we are not at fault for like what our ancestors did. Like as a as a German, I can very much understand that I'm not a Nazi, and I'm not. It's not my fault that that what's happened in Nazi Germany, obviously. Um, but I feel like it's good that I at school at least I did. I was lucky. I found out that that's not normal. Over like not everyone in Germany went through so much education about Nazi times, which is upsetting, I think, and not good. Um, but yeah, I'm very grateful that I was educated so much and that I it was horrible and with someone uh, as someone with anxiety that was definitely not great but we went to a uh, KZ so like you know concentrationslager what concentration camp yeah is it called concentration camp I think so in English so yeah it was it was mandatory unless you had like you know psychological issues but for me I guess I was like yeah, I'm okay with it or if you had were Jewish or had like Jewish heritage, which I guess makes you Jewish in the Jewish religion, but yeah. Um, right? Yeah, sorry if I messed that up. I think it depends on who, if you have a Jewish mom or dad, I don't know. Sorry if I mess that up. Um, but yeah, I think we had in my, in a parallel class, there were two uh, Jewish students and they didn't go. Yeah. But yeah, we went to like concentration camp and when I was like 15 years old or so, 14, 15, 16, I don't know. And yeah, that was a very good educational trip. <laughs> yeah, it was still, it, it was upsetting as some like, you know, teenagers uh, somewhere a bit disrespectful, but overall, I think it educated people <laughs> enough <laughs> or like showed them enough. Like, yeah, that's not good. But where did I want to get to? So yeah, we do the work. So we can work against stuff like this happening again so that it doesn't happen again you know and i think that's very good so yeah so i think it's good to try and come up for issues of your uh issues no come up for to try and to try and not fix issues but like works work against issues of your culture, of your country, you know. <laughs> um, so yeah, even though it might not you personally be, new, be your fault, I think it's good to, to work on something 
together as a as a country or as a community or as people or whatever you want to like you could also say as a whole world <laughs> so yeah so yeah ultimately what i wanted to get to with all that is that i wish just like indigenous people like i don't want to america to just disappear like the us or something or canada but i wish it could unite more with um ha united haha <laughs> united states i wish it could unite more with or like give back more to what they took to what they took to to the people they took from to get us humans yes oh yeah thank you so much i remember when visiting a guest chamber yeah my, my school colleagues were just like giggling and laughing oh yeah i had a bit of that too unless they at all just call them fun kids uh. But oh yes, that was I was I was not doing well on that day. It's it just really like when you're so empathic and also have anxiety, then it just really hits. It, it was it was horrible. And also I have like my fantasy is pretty good, my imagination. So yeah, I remembered all the stories I had heard of, documentaries I had watched. It's just yeah, it just hits me in the gut. <laughs> yeah. Um, and honestly, by now, I'm also having issues with like, sometimes I have issues with like uh, shows or movies with like uh, Nazi time stuff. Because I think it's it, it, somehow it's getting more to me by now. Uh, or I'm just like, no, I don't need more of that in my life. It's just, no, it's, it reminds me too much of stuff. And you know what? In elementary school, I think I was in third or fourth grade. So I was like eight, nine years old. Or maybe even earlier. I don't know. <laughs> the teachers, we, we had a school project or a class project where we would record stuff with, I don't know what it was about, I don't know, if you made music or sang something or told a story, I don't know. Um, but so yeah, while one part of the class or some, I think it was, we were divided into groups, I don't know. But like while one group was working on the project, the other was, was watching a movie. And they accidentally chose a movie that was not appropriate for kids, and it was like in black and white about like um, ghettos in Poland. I think they're, they're called ghettos, right? Um, yeah, and I was so scared of that. And I think that's like, yeah, around that age, I got pretty marked by stuff I saw. I think my brother showed me like slaughterhouse footage when I was like nine years old, or nine years old or so. That's why I went vegetarian around age 9 or 10. I mean, it's if I had learned that uh, animals were also suffering for other animal products, then I would have gone vegan if I had the knowledge, but I didn't. So I went piscatarian, not vegetarian, because I was, I don't know, it took me until I was 16 years old to be like, fish have feelings too, Kana. <laughs> yeah. Um, not that I was super grown up or good or anything, but nothing that was so weird, yeah. Nothing in a place like this is just wrong, yeah. You you just feel the mood and like the people who, who who educate people there and show them around and like pay attention that nobody does anything shitty or disrespectful. Um they also just you know what also the teachers they told us so much stuff and yeah. So much talking. <laughs> but yeah. You just feel that it's so inappropriate to do anything like that. It's just, no. I don't even know where you get the incentive, is that the right word? To laugh. Or people who take happy pictures and selfies there. Yeah, oh my gosh, selfies. Like we, I think we had to turn off our phones or something, or we had to leave them, or we should leave them in our pockets, or I don't know. It's just like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Um, but what was I talking about? Yeah, I think that's Slaughterhouse footage, which I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure that was the story, because it's like, I, I remember that that has, like, I know that that was a thing. Oh, hello, Aurora. <laughs> uh, and yeah, that's that. Hey, Clubwork Norse. Oh, Norse. Oh, hello. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for joining. <laughs> We're talking about history today. <laughs> we have so many different topics today. It's crazy. I'm barely playing the game. <laughs> No surprise, I'm not making any progress. 
But yeah, um... Oh, I'm hearing the gift, a gift, yeah. Um, what did I want to say? Henry, please just invite me to your place or something. Okay. Good, what did I want to say? Um, an obviously yeah. Um... Oh, dang, my brain. I'm just also kind of tired. Like, I was tired before I started streaming. I was a bit tired. And then I then I got over the tired face, and now I'm just kind of all over the place with my brain. So yeah, that's how we got to so many different topics. <laughs> and uh, right now we were, like, talking about, like, uh, like so, I say like so much. <laughs> um, indigenous people, uh, Nazi times, because I'm from Germany, woohoo! And I was talking about how, um, what I learned at school, yeah, that's how we got there, what I learned at school, and like how I think, even though it's like, it's not my fault what happened in the past, it's good to try and work against what happened in, in the past, also to like learn from it, and try to show the people who suffered according respect and like help them, you know? yeah, help them is a good term, I think, yeah. Like support them and like stand together, you know, against injustice <laughs> as a general thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, I, I should drink something in a sec. <laughs> Not alcohol. <laughs> hmm. Do, do, do. All right. Over three thousand. <laughs> Is Foxy outside? If not, I should time travel. Oh. <laughs> She's not, okay. Oh, time to time travel for some progress here. <laughs> At least a bit. Um... But yeah, I think those things just marked me, stuff I saw as a kid. Or like, helped me learn stuff and... For that stuff to really stick with me. So I would act on that knowledge, ultimately, with the right education and, yeah, and self-confidence. <laughs> yeah. It's funny because, um, he wasn't a teacher at my school, but, like, he was there for, like, social stuff and, like, I guess also organization, organizational and social stuff and partially also creative stuff. At my school, I, I don't know the proper term for, yeah, um, yay, <laughs> thank you for the, yeah, <laughs> I sometimes don't know how to say that, but I want to react to it and be like, yeah, thank you for your input, <laughs> and thank you for agreeing, yes, that's the word, um, but yeah, that's kind of s social stuff's teacher, <laughs> I should look up the proper word, but I don't want to right now, I just want to, uh, do a bit in the game at least. Um, oh, zero drop frames today. Woo! <laughs> and I don't have too much time left, like 19 minutes, if I stretch it out to the latest point. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, and he said, to my surprise, when I was like 14 years old, 15, I don't know. 15, 16 years old, I don't know. 14, 15, 16, 13, 12, I don't know. I can try and think about it when he was like, responsible kind of for my class. I think then it would rather be 14, I don't know. Oh, oh my gosh, thank you for the, oh my gosh, thank you for the sub. Wow, that's still surprising to me. I didn't hear it, but I saw it. Because, <laughs> uh... The Nintendo Switch is very loud on my audio setup, and I can't turn it down, so I have to turn it down on my headphones, so my computer gets very quiet. Well, thank you so, so very much. The support is very much appreciated. And, yeah, if, you, if you've if you checked out the emotes, they are pretty dark. I'm trying to work on new ones. Uh, oh, first batch! <laughs> Do you think I was telling me about your new emotes last night? You're like, oh! <laughs> nice, oh, well, thank you. <laughs> But yeah, oh, very many, oh, clockwork does, oh. <laughs> but yeah, um, I, I, 
I think I will I will I'm getting closer and closer to really wanting to commission uh, someone from my stream team um, so I have some more properly visible emotes I like my my doggo emotes <laughs> but it's so hard it's it's hard to see them because like yeah black swallows details <laughs> especially on a black background so thank you so so very much ah. <laughs> I'm I'm so happy, thank you. <laughs> the support and just someone caring that much means a lot to me. <laughs> yeah, you so many first badges in the chat. <laughs> um Yeah, what was I just saying? <laughs> um the one thing if you get to a climate to is the lack of prevalence of consensus objection. Oh my gosh, that's too complicated words for my streamer brain, I think. I, I know those words, but it's hard for me to understand, so I will just read again. One thing if I take climate to is the lack of prevalence of consensus objection because I've heard from people who have said that most people didn't know what was going on. Ah, I get it! Oh my gosh, I actually understood the point here. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I think I get it. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but I'm trying to remember. Thank you for sharing, by the way. Um, did I water that gyroid? I did, right? Oh, yeah, it's snowing. <laughs> yeah, okay, I've, I've watered it and it's snowing. It's foxy at home. Looking. Okay, um. She's not at home. We have a chance. <laughs> um, dang, I forgot my earlier point. Consensus objection is like deciding not to do something based on your conscience. Yes. Oh, okay, I thought that was Celeste for a sec. But yes, I understood the point. Woo. I know a few folks from Stream Beans. Yay, my friend showed me a tech wreck a while back and I literally just played Deep Rock Gal Galactic with Vegan Pork last night on oh, nice. Seems like a good bunch of folks. Yay. Oh, thank you for sharing. That's so lovely. It's like... I'm very happy to be part of this community now. I was a bit shy at first, and I still am in some ways. It's just, yeah, introvert. <laughs> um, but they are so lovely, and just, oh, it's so nice to just have a community of just like vegans. I don't have to think about any topics. I don't have to worry about topics like with meme channels. I don't have to worry about stuff I don't find funny, but like very concerning, you know? And yeah, also art and like everywhere it's just basically a safe space and the topic veganism doesn't have to be a topic that's just so chill yeah oh. <laughs> and also just as i said the people are so lovely and they are just a variety of people they're like i don't even know how broad the age uh, spec spectrum is i'm probably one of the younger ones <laughs> I have no idea how old some people are. <laughs> I can just roughly guess. And it doesn't really matter either, because like they are so lovely. And so understanding. It's just you, you don't even notice stream is best bean. <laughs> you don't even notice um, age differences. I, I had to pay attention to the game for a sec. Okay, cool. I have to give something to butch. <laughs> Okay, um, but yeah, just lovely beans, and you you just don't notice differences. It's just like everyone's just lovely. <laughs> I mean, of course, not everyone's the same kind of person. So like, people are different. Like, some are more introverted, some are more extroverted, blah. But it's it's a nice and nice and healthy mix. <laughs> But yeah, I really forgot what I wanted to say earlier. Stuff that marked me, stuff I learned from. Hmm. What? Hey, what, what do you think is in there? If you get it right, I'll give it to you. No, don't give it to me. Random! Woo. Oh, okay, I was right. I'm trending that direction, but I'm terrible feeling myself properly or no. I sometimes know the struggle. <laughs> But yeah, I am vegan, but I, uh, yeah, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't be part of stream means. But I still know the struggle of feeding myself properly. 
Clothing. Okay, cool, Butch. I didn't want to take your gift away. Cook's cold. Oh, yeah. Uh, goodbye, Butch. Yeah, clockwork. I, I believe in you. Seriously, you can do it. Uh, cook. Cold. Okay, I have that. I can sell. Oh, I got a yard. Oh. Okay. Boxy out. <laughs> I was like, where are you? <laughs> and she was just at the edge of this. Plaza. I will just stop trying to remember my point from earlier. <laughs> or my thing I wanted to say. Mm. I'm also bad at that. High five! <laughs> Like today, for example, for breakfast, my first um, my first meal of the day was like a tiny bit of leftovers I had, which was like noodles with tofu, zucchini, and corn mushrooms some in the sauce. I guess that was it, right? Yeah. Um, and there was just a tiny bit left, so I toasted a bunch of bread and spread those tiny bits on the bread with tomato paste. That was my food. <laughs> Until I made something more proper. <laughs> it's so weird. Sometimes I make such random things. <laughs> oh, nice. Yay. I think, was it Audralen from the Stream Beans? Or a Booga? Or both of them? They were like leftovers on bread. Meal. <laughs> they shared that in the, in the Stream Beans Discord. So if you want advice on stuff, feel free to go there and or like if you want like recipe insp inspirations or just want to see delicious food and get super hungry, then you can also go into the chat. <laughs> Sounds delicious, yay! Uh, Loki, some days I just open a cold can of black beans, uh, put seasoning and call it my snack. Relatable. <laughs> I just drink soy milk and microwaved oatmeal and salsa for breakfast with two bananas. <gasps> oh my gosh, I've heard about that. That is a good idea. Oh yes! All the best. <laughs> if you want to look at food and get super hungry, that, that was the selling point, I bet. <laughs> but yeah, seriously, the people there are so lovely. It's oh, it's nice. And no pressure on anything. People are just also understanding. Like one of the beans today was like... I think others have been like that. Like, sorry if I did, haven't answered yet. Or sorry if I haven't been as active. And everyone's just like... Relatable. Chill. It's good. And sending love and support. <laughs> ah, you mean oatmeal and salsa? What? Savory oatmeal, yeah. I, I tried that in the past, but the thing is I can't have salsa because I... Oh, I could, but I would die. <laughs> no, I wouldn't die. Um, but like, I have issues with like spicy stuff. <laughs> like tomato salsa. <laughs> um, although, does salsa have to be super spicy? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's, that's difficult for me. It basically fulfills a similar niche to rice or grits. Grits? Grits? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> so yeah, I think I tried something in that direction once, but it was more like on the tomato side and less on the spicy side. Hot spicy or intense spicy? Both can be difficult for me, but intense spicy is easier by now. <laughs> like hot spicy is... <laughs> I just re react very much to that, very easily. <laughs> like sometimes my brother would be, that's not spicy at all, and I would be burning on the floor. <laughs> I feel like Foxia would invite us today. So I'm thinking about going to the next day to see if we got a photo. Oh, what? Like, okay. Honestly, I don't call it spicy unless there's a whole... <laughs> yeah, see? Then you're a bit like my brother. <laughs> Most hot sauces out there are almost non-existent. <laughs> yeah, and I react to the non-existent. <laughs> uh, but I do love my uh, like wasabi with, um, with sushi. I just uh, torture myself with that. I just like it. I don't know why. I love the spice as well. Just, just say I want to make an icicle bicycle. I'm trying to play the game still, but it's just too interesting to say stuff with my brain and read stuff in the chat. <laughs> what, Lobo? <laughs> uh, 
Okay. You don't want to anymore. And I won't go and look for Henry. Let's see if we got a picture, a photo. Maybe. Uh, Vic has given us a photo. Aurora. But I feel like Vic is more likely. Like, triple X spice type. <laughs> um, if you've had those Korean spicy noodles, those are like a nice enjoyable spice. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. What was the spiciest I've ever eaten? Spiciest meal? I don't know. Maybe something I accidentally put too much spice into, like hot stuff. And um, where am I going? There. <laughs> I think it was one of those things where I accidentally put too much in and I don't want to throw away food. And no one wanted to eat my stuff. <laughs> um, because my brother at that time didn't do well with like noodles. He didn't want any kind of noodles. And I had um, udon, udon noodles. Uh, and I just made it too spicy, too too hot spicy, and I just tortured my way through it. <laughs> just tortured myself. Because <laughs> I was like, I don't want to throw away food. Oh, I'm burning. <laughs> yeah, my stomach wasn't too happy about that, but at least I ate something. <laughs> and my nose were very clear. My, my nose was very like clear afterwards. <laughs> like burned through. <laughs> oh my gosh. I should uh, open up my browser already to see who we're going to raid. I think it will be Marta. But, okay. We have Piscus Pixie, Marta, myself. Only four people are streaming. That's surprising to me. And and uh, Maeve Dog LP, a full and German bean. <laughs> but yeah, we will raid Marta. No, no. Oh, she's. <gasps> Marta streaming No Man's Sky. <laughs> What he made that this is fine beam? Oh yeah, <laughs> it's burning. I was confused for a sec because I, th I was thinking about it visually. <laughs> oh genius. Yeah, you're my meme master. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Yeah, what's going on there, by the way? Ah, there's a there's a poll, that's why. Not a poll, a uh, question thing. But I will already enter the raid command, just to be prepared. <laughs> oh yeah. You gotta listen. <laughs> huh? This may not count as news, but I do have a cautionary tale of sorts to share. Occasionally, residents complain that they purchased a work of art only to later realize it's well fake. Okay, read us here today. I have to write that down later. Well, glad I could catch a stream. The times don't always work out for me. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's been kind of difficult since I've started stopping to stream before midnight. So I get in like a healthier uh, sleep schedule. Get a healthier sleep schedule in. So it's like difficult with some time zones. But thank you so much. Okay, read us here today. <laughs> the way she was like, Duh. okay, now I'm happy again. <laughs> Gotta warn you! Oh, now it's all happy and good again. <laughs> okay, red, nice. Gotta remove this. Oui. Okay, let's see if we got a photo. That's the last thing I want to do for today. And I can sell these. Let's go! Oh, yeah, I ordered stuff. And Katrina. Ooh, purification thing. By the way, I really don't want to make things feel rushed. But I'm just trying to stick to that before midnight stopping. Or health. <laughs> so I don't at some point think like, ah, it doesn't matter. Blah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't overstep. <laughs> and it's four minutes to midnight. Da, da, da. Mm. Okay, what is that? Gold turtle or war? Oh, turtle figurine. Okay. At first, Moro! Nope. Moro! This is less um, exciting if I go that fast, but well. <laughs> no! Okay. I didn't have my hopes too far up, anyways. <laughs> so, no photo today. But okay. Next time, tomorrow. Yeah, it's fine, Kenna. She's healthy to regulate your schedule. Thank you so much! <laughs> oh, the understanding! <laughs> it's too. Ah. Surreal for me, but thank you so much. 
so surreal that's the word um come on little bug <laughs> okay um 57 cool we have like two minutes <laughs> No, I could also stop at 58, you know, but I'm, if I'm already at it, I'm gonna dig up those flowers. <laughs> okay, but yeah, tomorrow will be my last Animal Crossing stream for a while, because I will switch Tuesday and Friday. So I won't stream on Tuesday next week, only next week. I'll just stream on Friday, because then Horizon Forbidden West will release, woo! And that's why I will stop streaming Animal Crossing and go full on into Horizon Forbidden West. And I'm very excited for it, and I hope you join me on this adventure or enjoy the game yourself. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, thank you so much if you will join me then. And yeah, tomorrow Animal Crossing, and then Horizon Forbidden West, and then maybe some Mario Kart even, with the new uh, courses. <laughs> And then probably Ghostfire Tokyo, yeah, just to give you a bit of an overview. Anyways, I'm gonna go on a run while the sun's up. Ooh, enjoy. If I don't catch you after after I have a good rest of the stream and a good night finish. Okay, you will. We'll actually try to make it. Oh my gosh, that's... That's... I will stop about now, so... <laughs> bye bye. You will you will wake up or wake up. Come back to Martha's stream. <laughs> Thank you so much. And bye bye. <laughs> yeah. Will we end with the beautiful sounds of the dragon? <laughs> it would be nice watching gameplay with a vegan or environmental angle commentary. Yes! I'm so excited for that, seriously. I'm just like, yes, I can be real with stuff because it's in the game. <laughs> it's in the game. <laughs> okay, let's uh, end with the gyroid songs here. Thank you so so very much for your support, Popless Norse. Thank you so much for the for the sub. Um, pixelated bot, once again, thank you so much for the follow. That was two days ago, but still, thank you so much. What time are you going to stream tomorrow, by the way? I don't know exactly, but probably... Uh, maybe something with like 6, 7 or 8 p.m. Central European time. And I don't know how much later, that, like how much earlier that is for you. But like midday for you, I think. Wait, I don't know what time zone you're in. Why do I think of GG's time zone? I guess I was just assuming you were in a similar time zone. <laughs> yeah, okay, but before it's midnight, oh my gosh, we gotta start the raid. And thank you so much for watching, everyone. <laughs> See, that's what I mean if I overstep. <laughs> and yeah, send some love to Marta, a fellow bean. See, there's so many awesome charity streams and just awesome streams in general so yeah thank you so much for watching lots of love and bye bye